What up, y'all? Hi. Hi, wait, welcome to Wednesday. Oh, whoa. Welcome whoa. to Wednesday. Oh, um, day. Oh, oh. Um, yeah, hey, folks. Welcome back to Boss New York, the actual play D&D podcast where sometimes we actually play D&D. On hump day. And we're playing it on hump day oh, now. Uh, for all of you in the chat right now, thank you for joining us on our first sort of switcheroo day. It's been a, a, a wild week. Lots happened this week. But we were just saying that there are so many, like, classic Bards veterans in chat right now that it, it, it makes me feel validated in the date switch. This feels good. This feels yeah. right. Um, and new friends, too. Some people who've never been able to catch a live stream. Welcome. That's what I was hoping for. So, um, yeah. What are our fun announcements? Well, this week? I'll, I'll take over just a few celebrations. Go for we it. We had um, Baby Boy over here in the DM seat who <gasps> made his off Broadway debut. <laughs> Woo! He Thank did a great you. job. A lot of us attended uh, on Monday, and then some of us will be attending on Sunday. Uh, so if you are in New York City, please come see 20 Sided Tavern. Uh, it's, it's a good time. Not just because Will's in it, but because it is a great show. Yeah. And it is for y'all. It, it really is. Specifically, yeah. anybody who has ever gotten enjoyment out of watching and interacting with a D&D stream, this show is like designed to do that, but now you're you're literally there. Yeah. You're just at the table. So, if, and if you come by, let me know and we'll see what we can do because yeah. I'm I'm trying to I'm trying to get you guys here. But yeah, that was fun. You guys are great. Yeah. It's, it was a good it time. Was That's like going to be a core cool memory I will never ever forget that evening. You were okay. And then Mid. the other announcement, Mid. John, you can't come again. Is yeah, that our sweet, sweet Danny boy oh, got a Danny yay? Boy. <laughs> I get to marry my favorite human. So, dang, there are worse ways. Say again? Wait, actually, do you want to tell in in short format how convoluted the plot was to make it happen? It's quite a thing. Oh yeah, um, it it was even more. So it turned out even more than what I told you. Oh all. my god. Um, Including some stuff that I'll say afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Uh, essentially, Next after uh, uh, yeah. Uh, essentially, uh, I convinced my now fiance um, that I was gonna go to Florida for a barbershop like show, and she was gonna go to California where she's from uh, to celebrate that her mother was going to win an award. But it turns out all that was a lie, and that I was there. Um, uh, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm going to post some photos of it at some point this week. Uh, if you don't, uh, I don't ever post on Instagram, so this will be the first time I post on Instagram <laughs> in three years. But worth it. Um, I'm very happy. Congratulations. Yeah. Deeply, deeply yeah. happy. And good so. surprise pull-off. Oh, and oh, good very. surprise pull-off. As, as a master of surprise. Let's we'll go! Have to, we'll have to tell it in Bards, of the, uh, yeah. Bards After Dark. The whole That'll story. One of the first, oh my god. Oh my god. The feast has arrived. Don't worry about it. Not Don't sponsored. Worry. Not, 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 not at all. Not the sponsored. other big announcement that I'll, I'll take over, um, oh. our friends at Monument Music, they killed their Kickstarter. <laughs> Dude, look at the Monument right Studios. Now. They earned tons of money, so thank you everybody who su helped support them. Um, so uh, the Fantasy Plus stuff should uh, get improved here soon. But in the meantime, if you hit exclamation oh point music God. in the chat, uh, well, it sends you a link. They always have sales. They always have good deals. And I think with Bards, you we have like a discount code for Fantasy Plus as well. Yeah, Because they're so. our like forever sponsor because we love them so much. They, they've they gotten nearly four Strangy. times their goal. Their <gasps> goal was 50K goal. and they're pushing 182K. Oh, oh wow. Good for with them. With two weeks left. Yeah. I'm so happy for them. They deserve every yeah. moment of it. Um, and then... Next Wednesday, because we have a new stream day, so we wanted to celebrate it and give back to y'all. And our mods suggested a merch giveaway, and we thought, hell yes, we should do a merch giveaway because yeah. Kyle's been making some lovely merch. We have some wonderful older merch that we want to give away as well, um, and maybe we'll make some new merch in the meantime. But uh, next Wednesday, we will be doing a bunch of new and old merch giveaways. So come, uh, come, be so come. Be in chat. I think we'll give away some maybe at the beginning, and then maybe in the middle, and then maybe a little at the don't end, comment. so we can keep it spicy. Yeah. It will not be sweatshirts and t-shirts, so that we don't have to worry about sizing, because we want to be inclusive of everyone. But come on Wednesday. But come. Do not come. I'm gonna come. <laughs> come on Wednesday. 
of next week for yeah. the first giveaway. Not and Wednesday then giveaway. also on the docket when we hit 40,000 followers on Instagram, that we plan to bonkers. do another merch giveaway. So tell your friends, to tell your enemies to, to swe swear fealty to Bards of New York and follow us Bruce. on Instagram. And then we can give you some more free shit. That's all we want to do, really. Yeah. yeah. Let's give you guys free shit. Yeah. We're just looking for excuses to do it, yeah. basically. Those um, are all of my announcements. Uh, I know that Kyle has a, um, a big sponsorship. Let's do it. Our it's, biggest. It's not, it's not the food that we've procured for today. Um, <laughs> imagine. No. 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 Um, I'm, I'm, I'm lost. I'm here. Uh, so we're, we're talking about, <laughs> we are talking about Magic Mind, um, as, as we always uh, have been doing, uh, continued. Uh, you've probably heard about it a lot. If this is your first time hearing about it, it's a great place. Uh, place. It's a it's wonderful a product uh, that's directed towards creatives and people who like want, want to have active and creative energy for like productivity and uh, stuff like that instead of just like chugging caffeine. Um, it's made using uh, all all the good ingredients like ashwagandha. A bunch of mushrooms, so many shrooms. Not the not the fun, not the psychedelic not, kind. Not the fun kind, only the healthy kind. Uh, but it's it's you've probably heard a million times the the term nootropics recently. It's become a huge thing. Don't like the, these are like actually like real and good quality. It's not just like going to your local bodega and seeing like a, a soda that says now with nootropics. Yeah. I'm like you're not magic <laughs> mind. <laughs> um, I, I have said it previously, but I've been uh, writing a fantasy novel, um, and I think Rachel can attest that uh, the when I have been consistent with taking Magic Mind, I have been more productive, I have been, uh, uh, I get more done, and I'm able to s stay seated and, uh, and engaged mentally for longer. Um, Would you say your mind becomes magic? TM TM TM. Uh, <laughs> so it, it's it's a it's a really great thing to check out. We also do have a wonderful code for it. Um, yeah. It's it's in all of the descriptions and, and such. Uh, it's gonna pop up in the chat right now. Um, it's uh, I believe Bards, Bards of Twenty. Bards of Twenty. Bards of Twenty. Of 20. 20. Um, in a great year, twenty twenty. I believe it actually might be. A different and then we have a second one. It might be a different one. No. Um, I'll try it right now. This says Bards of Trial. That's the URL. That Doom. I think Bar that oh. that is left. I'm I'm objection I'm butchering this. Right. You're doing uh, great. <laughs> we have, and it will be in the descriptions of this video and multiple times, and at some point I'll probably say it again. Yeah. We have a wonderful opportunity it. for you to get a an extremely discounted uh, tr yeah. uh, not uh, pack. Um, when you sign up for doing a month, like a monthly subscription, you could either do 15 bottles or 30 bottles. Um, we, it already gives you a big discount for doing the uh, subscription, but you can get an extra 20% off, uh, which brings it, I believe, to like 56% off. The each individual bottle price becomes like under three dollars. And if you're using it a lot, and you're the type of person who like gets your like that second coffee later in the day, or like you run like or, like fucking Woody and get a C four and destroy your kidneys, rip Woody's liver, rip, in Woody's rip, liver. His, rip his ball. <laughs> <laughs> the real ones know only the else. By one man, uh, only one better man. be watching Woody. <laughs> he'll, yeah, he'll casual find his way through it. It's it. They're they are they are pricier uh, than like your app, than your like normal thing, but it is worth it. It's high quality. Um, thank you for Magic Mind for uh, sending us stuff to try and continuing to sponsor us. Mm -hmm. thank uh, you. Please try it out. Uh, yeah. C can I do my ad? Oh. Um, the fantasy novel that Kyle's writing about that I didn't know we were telling people about, but I'm so excited now because it's absolutely amazing, and I can't wait for it to be done and to share it with you all, and us all to get to like read another fantasy world together. And I'm really proud of Kyle. I'm not that into fantasy. <laughs> we don't do that here. <laughs> Takes off. <Fucking> <laughs> I'm very excited. Since we're doing ads, I just wanted to let everyone know. That's it. Fuck yeah. 
Do my, we have my crotch anything? is warm. Mm. Okay. Because the food? I don't, food. I don't know if I need it. Like that. like don't worry, I'll cut off I'll cut off the out. promo uh, clipping before right Magic there. Mind people could see this. Before we delve into any further holes that we can't dig ourselves out of, the role play warm-up question. Yes! Let's go for it. Okay, in case you're new here, which I see a lot of fun new names in chat, or you haven't been here in a while, uh, we do a role-play warm-up question where I ask a question of the characters at the table, um, something about them so that we can get to know the characters better and so that we can drop into the given moment at the end so that Danny Boy and myself can just play a penguin and a gal with blue hair. Oh. Yeah, that's, that's what you want. A pacifist. Intriguing. A pacifist. Um, when I ask this question, if you are in the Twitch or YouTube chat currently, if you're in the YouTube comments later, or if you're listening on podcast, please, please, please feel free to answer for your sweet baby brainchild. Um, this one's an interesting one, so I would really love to know what your character feels like is the correct answer for them, because it's... It's just a spicy question. So please mm -hmm. uh, put it in the chat, put it in the comments. Uh, I love I do read every single sweets. one of them and I love to read them. <laughs> um, the, que the RP warm up question for the day is going to begin with, hmm, well we're passing out food here. So Rachel, we're gonna begin with you. Let's go. We're this gonna work our name. way around this way. Sure. All right. And it is. Yeah, remind me. Is it more important for your character to do good? or to avoid doing bad. So if you'll allow me. Wow. Okay. A moment. That's Rachel. To be very honest. Uh-oh. I'm scared. Um. Oh Lenore at the current moment in time does not feel one way or the other. Does not know what is better. Is it really acting out of moral choice? If that was a question she was posed in line somewhere, she'd just be like, stop talking to me. I would like to say Lenore of an undisclosed amount of time before, <laughs> maybe 10 plus years, would think that it's more important to do good um, actively, because even if it's like an accident, um, like because people do bad just doesn't mean they're a bad person and it's like, yeah, like instead of stopping bad, it would be more important to actively try to put a little bit of good into every day, whether that's helping someone, telling someone a compliment, doing like an actual heroic deed. But at the current time, we're not feeling any type of way, unfortunately. Oh, so she could go one way or the other. Yeah. Okay. We're like really neutral on it. And I just want to be honest, this is a safe space. That's fair. Yeah. I have, I... We're dancing on a knife's edge here with Lenore. Yes. We're gonna, we'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll unpack that in about... 15 minutes. We'll get uh, this way? This yes. way. S somewhat similarly, shocking no one, um, it's not that, it, at a baseline level, if I have to answer, it would be uh, not doing bad, but not in the way that I think the question intended, because I think morality doesn't exactly hold any sort of generalized weight. It's like if, uh, it, it, it is something that is entirely objective. If so, like a mosquito would argue that it's bad for you to swat it, but but if it could, it would. So therefore, it doesn't matter. What matters is whether or not you're right. So that is the answer that matters to her. I'm so these answers are not inspiring a lot of faith. We're gonna get you so shouldn't have started with us. This is not a good corner. About to get basically worse. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Hareem, Lord Hareem. Hareem, Nihilist Hareem. Hareem votes for the secret third answer. <laughs> you have to always dedicate yourself wholeheartedly to what you believe in. Morality is a spectrum beheld by other people. Who cares? As long as you do what is true to you, then no one can judge you for it. And if you, if they try to, squash them. <laughs> That's Hareem. I was not expecting that from Harim. We, we, we cook in Harim. Hold on. Wait, what do you mean? We're expecting he he goes around with a boatload, a literal boatload of money, funding whatever he wants wow. to fund. He's so jovial. He's so though. yeah, joyous is his yeah. his one setting. Jovial does himself. not mean good. You're right. Whoa. Wow. So you many right. so many kids shows have told us that multiple yeah. times. Yeah, when we have yeah. I've been brainwashed by PBS. And you guys I mean, judge he's us. Just, he's just a big baby, but like, <laughs> he's gonna do what his money wants to do. Yeah. A big baby with money. He just happens to be good. 
Yeah, yeah. Just thank fuck that he's on not a hateful oligarch. Yeah. yeah. His his interests currently align with ours. So the question yeah. is: yeah. Is it better to do good or not do bad? Is it more important for your character to do good or to avoid doing bad? Um, I think it's more important for JB to do good. Uh, in his mind, he really wants to avoid doing bad, um, but it's not his, like, if bad happens, he's very upset about it, Mm -hmm. but he has found that bad can't be avoided always, um, or at least the things that, like, make you feel bad, um, so he has, has the mindset of, like, no, like, he, he's very, like, at as much positive to weigh out any sort of negative that, that is uh, coming into the into the world. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Thank you. <laughs> well, for Sinov, uh, she believes that it is always more important to try to do good, and in her morality, uh, she's always doing good. Even when bad things happen, it's just to serve the purpose of becoming better and that she if she's doing good if if a bad thing's happened it's okay because eventually it'll work out everything will work out in the end because she's doing good i feel like that's the Mm. worst one so far (laughs) i don't know what you mean (laughs) she's a hero she believes in herself and believes in all of you a hero and a pacifist (laughs) a hero and a pacifist never heard anyone she said over like literal dead bodies (laughs) (laughs) it'll work Uh Oh, sorry, that wasn't me trying to get attention. That was, I got a little gobble in my throat. Uh, it is, well, your turn. Um, gobbler. A gobbler. Uh, and Bubbles uh, believes that his, he would like to do good, but if uh, the end goal needs to have something bad happens, there is no reason to not go try at that if the object is then to also know that good will come from the bad thing. Run that back for me. Really, re- thank you. Uh, really, what what I'm trying to say is that yeah, uh, either it's avenue it's is okay, but maybe yeah. leans a little bit more towards. Ooh, good, good. <laughs> Great. Is bubbles oh, that, an end justified? That avenue. The means? Sure. Oh, 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 yeah, the avenue. <laughs> no, I think bubbles yeah. is is uh, whatever happens is meant to happen. Mm. That the 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 world or the place that you're in is meant to be, if that's meant to happen to you or to the area around it, that's what is meant to be in that moment. So he believes in, like, fate. Yeah, 100%. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Does he also believe in free will? We don't have time for this conversation. (laughs) That's that's an RP conversation. Can can I ask a question? Uh What happened to Will? I already did it. You freed Will? Come on, guys. That was kind of funny. <laughs> sure it was, Dan. <laughs> um, the better one is fire. On that, on that wet one, uh, we're going to go to the one. last thing we do before our bean footage, tarot cards. The stop. Get out! <laughs> uh, we we pull tarot cards here to define or divine the uh, sort of uh, the, the fates of the session to come. I, if you were watching, I think I probably was holding up the title here, but I, I again, pulled a card early to see what I, I think might be pulled for the actual one. So my vote, the High Priestess, which would be real fun. Real fun. Uh, chat, if you have any votes as to what you think is going to get pulled here, uh, I know we have a couple of wiki warriors who have the full list of what's going on. Hermit. It's still in here, so we're, we're ready to roll. Is the star still in there? I don't think so. I think we pulled the star. I think we pulled the star like a session or two ago. Damn. I'm gonna say the lovers. Oh, Sherry says no. Sherry says no. Lovers. Lovers. The lovers. Mm. Have we had temperance yet? I don't remember. Chad, if you if you have a guess on what card we're gonna pull, put it in chat. Uh, uh, your turn. I know. I'm anyway. so torn. I was gonna say either temperance or lovers. No, I mean it's your turn to pull it. Yeah, oh no. Yeah. Oh yes. Oh no. Uh, oh, oh, no. So we're gonna do. I'm not sure if you've seen what we do when we're at a distance like this, but I'm, I'm a gonna, casual fan. Well, I didn't say. It. Uh, I'm gonna She's play gonna some cards down here, time. and you yeah, yeah. will tell me when to stop. Okay. Stop. This couldn't be more fitting, <gasps> given where we're going. 
the chariot, baby. Oh! oh. I, a runaway train! A literal runaway train. <laughs> the ever forward moving force. Uh, if you've seen the movie, what is it? Speed, where the bus can't put the brakes on? Speed 2. Hell yeah. This Cruise is where we're at. And I believe it's another one represented by a party member. This is JB's <laughs> car. The chariot has been pulled. I'm wow. Bite it today, I couldn't be. And we're nobody, ch- nobody chose that. That's amazing. If yeah. you were on a bus, fuck, rolling down the hills of San Francisco. I think it's San Francisco, right? Fuck it, I'll say this. Yeah. With, rolling with, down the hills of San Francisco. With who? The brakes can't with, stop. With, with Keanu Reeves. Keanu Reeves and Sandra Bullock. I've never seen the movie. <laughs> uh, rolling down a hill. Brakes can't stop. You might crash. You're going too fast. What are you saying out that window? I can't. Out. The gods are silent. The skies grow dim with disuse. The sun has lost its luster. But our world moves ever faster. Let it be known throughout the prime that the mantle falls to us, my Elvenan, to usher in a new age. Welcome back. Oh wait, let me join. How the mighty have fallen. If you can't beat them, join them. That's like the the, I the was whole. Kind of, I'm kind of, I didn't. Oh no! Work. This is the wrong music. N- n- no. Actually, I'm gonna start with the children first. Here we go. Building bubbly bubbly. Sir. Is this yours? Let me take a fat swig oh, of angry oh, water. Is that one? Uh, I don't. I don't think I had one. That's the only kind of water I ever want to drink. Is where it Kyle, makes me like. I, I genuinely I don't drink anywhere near as much water if it's not yelling. That was mine. That was mine. You should drink water. Thank you. I do. It just has to be yelling at me. What does that mean? Spicy Sparkling. water. So, my friends, has to be cool. I invite you to welcome back to the world and surrounding realms of Regulus Prime. I take longer to pan the camera. No, no, I'm all okay, great. I'm, 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 um, last session was tumultuous, both both physically and emotionally. You resolved an issue in the barracks with beings of of horrific amalgamation that escaped from your grasp, really, being ordered to, to find something in the, in the wider world. You then all headed forth, exited Faleria on your raft uh, towards the site of your first contract with the Copper Legion, or the Copper Legion, Harim's first assignment, to waylay a group of privateers aboard a train bound for Faleria before it arrives there, to retrieve a piece of their stash that he believes will help all of you understand what the next steps of your spiritual journeys might be. The idea being, you are to get on the train, find these privateers, detain or dispatch them, retrieve the item, and get back to Faleria before these privateers otherwise arrive there, because he believes something else with the Copper Legion is involved at, in opposition. On the journey, you were waylaid by a group of Iskari, a, a group of, uh, uh, how do I want to describe this? A, a group of zealous Iskari outside of Iskari society who were tracking down Sinov, who were then also being tracked by Lenore. There was some tension there as the, uh, the Iskari uh, hunters were defeated, but tensions were put aside to allow you to finally achieve your path towards rest at the campsite just south of. Oh right, and we met the raptor, and you went, dude, Not the raptor. my my brother Still in Christ, it's a lizard. It's a bu- okay, it's a flying flying reptile. It's a it's a pterodactyl. But right, and good. I loved that TikTok if you haven't seen it. Funny also because raptor now means bird, but still not either of those things. And I got an appy juice. I will say Woody chimed in and, and called it a, a blizzard, a bird lizard. It's the tastiest. A pterodactyl. A, a is a bird lizard. Pterodactyls aren't that. They're just lizards. <laughs> 
Case in point, you arrived at the the outskirts of Sulavara, the uh, the town near the Heart Wilds, just after sunset, just at sort of dusk, and found Euphoria, the A-ranking member of the Copper Legion, her pterodactyl Terence, uh, who immediately dispatched three vanguard knights who were seemingly inquisiting her about something. And that is where the camera is going to pan down. As that was pretty patient. I appreciate that. As Euphoria has said, Oros, and this this arrow of sort of frosty energy has expanded, freezing all three of these knights. Can I get the whistle again? Oh, that's Terence so scre- well <laughs> screeches down from the sky, shatters this group of ice. Euphoria slings the bow over their back. And I'm retconning their dialects because I was instructed I had, I had made a, a terrible oh, one. No. A terrible one. Wait, what did you do? Well, I in, in the initial conceptualization of, of Euphoria, they were like Megara from Hercules, and I forgot they're Irish now. So oh. as the Emily, three of them shatter, you. I know, she really did this a service. Love you, Emily. Uh, Can Emily do an Irish accent? Uh, well, that's, well, I'll see if I can get Maybe her on we'll that. Find um, great. Uh, she puts the bow over her back, turns to you. Sorry about that. I uh, just had to take care of some business. Pleasure to meet you all. Looks like you're with the Legion, yeah? And she sort of gestures the top of the hull, sort of fairly large, wide tent there, where there is still a big pelican with a little, almost like copper-colored bandana around their neck, sort of perched on the top of the tent. <coughs> Got a message that I was to be expecting some, uh, some new recruits for a, a, a wee mission today. Is that you? Or are you just uh, travelers coming upon a lucky time? No, that's, that's us. That's, you don't seem thrilled? I'm just, I want to go to bed. It has been a long day. I'm intrigued so, at your, 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 your creature. She sort of kneels down. I'm intrigued at you. Little man, where I'll, you come from? You, the north. The, the <laughs> I, I've been all over. How far north exactly? Finishes juice box. Okay. No, <laughs> sucks the box dry. <laughs> 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 Talking to elf lady with bow. <laughs> it's even cuter when it's a tiny penguin though. <laughs> baby. Make, does it like a little burp. Has a little sippy cup. <laughs> um, uh, the, the tundra of the sun uh. dead claw. Sun dead claw. She sort of like puts a, her hand on Terence's neck. You ever seen penguins like this up the sun dead claw? Do I understand that? Come on. Come roll on, me, Will. <laughs> roll me an animal handling check. Oh. What do you want from me? You're speaking to somebody else's dinosaur. Have you ever seen a dinosaur before? Dan? Yeah. No, no, no. Will. <laughs> I fell Come on. Time. Have you ever seen, has Bubbles ever seen a dinosaur before? <laughs> what if you were like, said yes, I would be terrified. Do you remember? I'm interested. Can do you, I Dan, roll? remember if that was part of where they were? Can I roll to see if Bubbles has ever seen one? Can I roll a, uh, <laughs> Um, no, because I know you haven't. You've seen uh, you've seen dragons before. Okay. But not dinos <laughs> like this. Okay. Hmm? Well then, uh, I'd like to roll an animal handling on Jack. Yeah, roll it. We're gonna roll with uh, the bee die. Not 20 every time. Hmm? That's a 15. 15? You can't, <laughs> it's not like you managed to I have never seen such things before. You can't like understand, understand. It, what it's. You can kind of get the gist of its intention. This big. This is one of those big pterodactyls it's a too. Yeah, yeah, like from the uh, Jurassic Park three, the fucking. I'm thinking more like walking with the dinosaurs, but they also fucked up because they mostly just walk now. They don't fly yeah. the big ones. But this is one I, of those. I can get Mikael on the horn right now, and he can give us the lowdown. Um, this is just big, big pterodactyl. <laughs> And it's looking at you very quizzically. Not in the. It doesn't look like it's looking at you as prey, but there is a, there is a newness to it. You know when you have a pet and you introduce it to a new toy or something, and it has to like examine the fuck out of it I'll before it, it, it plays with. It? That's what it's doing with you right now. This Terence is. 
But I should also note that Terence is a large creature. Oh. Terence is very big. Large lad. And Bubbles is a small. Well, I didn't see one either. <laughs> but I, I must say, you're not uh, the usual grouping of Legionnaire recruits that I would expect. You're, you're very new. You weren't there the last time I was down in Flaria. This is a tough time to come into Silvara. Tough time. Why do you say that? You going in there tomorrow? Yeah. I wasn't told what you were doing. Well, mm. if you're in town tomorrow, I'm sure you'll uh, you'll find out. But I mean, you saw when she gestures to the wreckage of the three frozen knights in the sand, now sort of like sinking a little bit into the drift. Uh, there's been a problem in the woods. And they're coming through, and uh, security's a wee bit tight in the in the town. And they're uh, they're not going to be too partial to wayward uh, well folk like us mm. so much. There are a lot of them in the town, but they're going through asking all them coming out here asking the nerve to ask me if I'm here on <laughs> on uh, subterfuge based business course. And I am. It's my job, but not with the ones that you think. Hey, you want to come inside the tent? It's warmer in there. Just sure. Immediately. <laughs> Okay. So this is, again, Rec? fairly standard. Did you make Rex yeah, did you make Rex sounds, bud? You, you literally did. You did. You did. <gasps> God, his ass. I don't think Alice makes any sense. Same as yeah. ass. Alice is quite Same as ass in the chat. No, she has metal bones now. So she goes, kung, kung, kung in the snow. <laughs> what are you, oh, you doing? Right. Are you, well, okay, are you, you Logan? Now, are you now Logan? You have, snow because it's ice. Now you have uh, <laughs> disadvantage <laughs> on uh, stealth checks. I already do. I have exhaustion. No, uh, sorry. You go into the tent. He you know, know, if we've all seen the crowdfunded was made by a public author, definitely not one person, Harry Potter and the Goblet of, Goblet of Fire. We've seen the yes. movie version of that, uh -huh. where the Weasleys have a tent that's bigger on the inside. Mm. I love magic. This is kind of like the inside of that tent, but the outside is just as big as the inside. Oh, it's cool. just, a, it's a big tent. Oh, so, so, it's, okay. so, so, so instead of doing all that thing you said, no, you could have said, it's don't a do big it. tent. Oh, the aesthetic, don't do it. Though. The train is getting harder. The DCs are going up. Uh, are the... you, wait, did you mean the aesthetic? <laughs> thank you. Oh, can I, I got thank you, you for I that. Can I ask, is Arthur in there and is it as I'm good going. of an actor? All right, let me type something. Because <laughs> no, no, the guy who plays Arthur is an outstanding. I can't wait for you to get in the cargo train. Good morning, uh, We're going to die. We, uh, as you enter here, this is what I'm talking about. It's a very cozy aesthetic inside of here. She has clearly dug, she or somebody has clearly dug, a fire pit into the sand. There's some sort of like roughshod bricks around it. There's a small fire going inset into the sand. There are lots of blankets and pillows and, all, and like uh, sleeping sacks laid out around. Uh, one, I forget what they're called, but like the, the cast iron sort of stands that you'd put a cauldron over is sitting over the flame. She's mm -hmm. warming up some stew there. Um, and as you guys are heading in, you hear her just go over to Terrence again. Right, take flight. And uh, when you need to come take a nap, I'll go feed you once Gilgore gets back. She sort of smacks the side of the of, of Terence. <laughs> and he's off into the air. And then uh, Euphoria joins you inside. She sort of just like slings her bow off into one of the racks on the corner of the tent. Lies down, uh, sort of Roman Emperor style on some cushions and a sleeping sack along one of the sides of the tent. Uh, I didn't make a ton of stew, and it's not uh, not fully ready yet. We got Gilgore's gonna be coming back from the river, he's doing some fishing. Gilgore? Uh, He's one of the other A ranks with me here today. Mm. There aren't, I think there's only four of us. We usually do it as a band of three, one of them's a loner, but uh, me and Gilgore, we're, we're quite tight, mm. and he's on this job with me. Uh, you're not You're not here about the bridge, are you? And the, uh, the, the scuffle on the bridge a couple of days ago? No. I what? don't know what that was. That was not my answer. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> you're getting infected. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, uh, we were. Uh, uh, no, we're not here for that. But what happened on the bridge? Well, there was a an altercation between the vanguard and uh, well, it's the, it's the Neversil, isn't it? They like to get meddling in issues that aren't necessarily theirs to meddle in, and apparently got quite nasty. And it's got the the vanguard up in arms, but uh, I'm here to just take stock for the legion. But that's that's about all you what I'm gonna get is D rank. D, D rank. You don't need to. Know. It's it's on an A rank need to know basis. How many days ago was this? Uh, maybe three, at most four. Was that how many days ago it was when when? Okay, cool, cool, cool. When what? When Sal got taken. Yeah, I was gonna say. Ah, you're, you're 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 the way you speak. You sound very similar 
to a friend of ours. Oh. Are you, well, who's the friend? His name is uh, Salvador Mon- Montebank. That's, uh, sure. You have a similar voice. Okay. I wondered if you knew him. Oh, just we sound the same, so we must be uh, related, yeah? Well, no. That's that's how it goes for you. No. People who sound like you're related to you, penguin or not. Well, yeah, most penguins are related. Was your friend an adult then? Yes. No. <laughs> Bubbles is doing this out loud. <laughs> Literally to no one. Yes. <laughs> no. 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 <laughs> Empty juice box still in hand. Watched type. Yes. Uh, Hasn't found a trash can yet. I don't know anyone named Sal. Okay. I may look like an elf. I haven't been brought up like the rest of you, so. I'm not implying. You, in fact, you were directly and explicitly employing that. No. So, net, eh, eh, Good More boy. Just intrigued that you're, uh, I don't know if you can explicitly accent. imply something. That's kind of an oxymoron. Would you like to steer or not? You I, can sleep I in the sand. Love, it's fine. I, I would love it. Grand. That'll be great. We just gotta wait a moment. The, the fish will cook quick once we're back. It'll be fine. And why are you here? That's an order, by the way. <laughs> Something to do with the train. You don't have copper on you. No, I'm not in the copper legion. Then what are you doing here? I'm assisting them momentarily. For free? Yes. That's a good joke. For free, love that. That's uh, not something I'd uh, be partial to. Takes a sip of my wine. She's a consultant. Is you my know. presence objectionable? I can wait outside. Well, no, it's, it's not objectionable. It's just not customary for uh, for anyone to do anything for any reason that doesn't directly benefit them. That's been my experience here. And if anybody says they're an altruist, prove it. But uh, no, that's beside the point. As long as you don't mind sharing classified confidential details with a consultant, then that's it's fine. But what are you here for? We're here for t- t- to get something off a train. I, I'll pull out the like the uh, the bounty, the, like, the Bolton Noble yeah. contract. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. we do have a we do have a story. Yeah. 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 You were each handed a copy, I believe, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Or as yeah. he went bounding around. Like, oh yes, I have it. Yeah. <laughs> the entire Faleria town. But, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, with things getting so so mobile and so easily accessible these days, I feel like you're getting a lot of these sort of uh, artifact hunters and the like just stealing things from other people and disappearing fucking off in the train somewhere. Nasty business, but that's why we're here. We're going to stop them, going to, you know, make some money while you're at it. Sorry about the, uh, well, not do me, but... The retainer fee, the copper fee, legion charges, these early ranks, tough, tough stuff. Mm. But uh, you are you have a good handler? Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes, and money, you, uh, money is not the most important thing. Well, I like that. It's not, is it? Well, because he, uh, the handler has a lot of it, so he doesn't. Who's the handler? Verena? No, no, have you met the big hippo man? No. Is Verena the dead one? I think Verena went, I don't know if we know she's dead. She's, Verena's dead? She's definitely missing. For how long? It's been a couple of uh, weeks now, I think. No one's been very clear. A while, yeah. Well, you know. Is that not something that's been A rank classified? Yeah. I don't, uh, I don't do groups. And I don't much go back to Faleria. I get my missive sent by Bard or by Terence, so. I'm not paying too much attention to what's going on with the Legion. I get paid, I get my freedoms. That's all I care about. Were you a part of a group when you started at the D rank? Like we are? Apparently, I didn't start at D rank. You, why didn't you start at D rank? I'm better than that. That seems like you think we're not good. Well, you're D rank, so. That doesn't imply that. Mm. It, it metrically does. But that's I, listen, I haven't seen you work. Maybe you've been screwed by the bureaucracy, something. Oh no, the higher ups are keeping me down. I started it at least B. It's been a while, so I don't really remember it, but not D. I would say D rank is part of our um, strategy, you know? To be underestimated is a strategy in and of itself. That's fair. Now, you plan on getting on the train? 
Yeah. Yeah. How? You gonna get a ticket? I was just gonna talk my way onto one. Okay. Did you have a better idea? Do you have a way? Do you have cash? Of... You have liquid capital? Not much. No. How how much is a train ride? Not too much. If you get one of the back, uh, the the last four cars, it's for the, the standard fare. It's gonna be probably what fifty, hundred gold pieces, something like that. Unless you you per person. Well, on a local train for one stop, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. How it's much cheaper to go the whole distance, but you're how, going one stop. How much did you say? I don't know. I don't take the bloody... I ride Terry out, don't I? <laughs> Could you drop us on? Oh. Yeah. Oh, you could try. I need a... I need some... We could all be some, in a... A, 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 a hazard pay of some kind. We could be in a sack. And you could drop the well, sack. You you go in. You money. take a look around Solivara tomorrow. You you gauge what the the temperature is like, mm. and then you come a bit come back at me with a little squint about why I'd need a hazard pay for dropping you with a bloody dinosaur well, on top of a moving vehicle. Was the hazard pay so that w if you get paid if we <clears> die? No, the hazard pay is so if I get put in danger by the solarborn troops wandering through the city, oh, that's fair. that that I, it's been worth me while when I'm doing a different job in that same time. That's fair. If we want, we can use the uh, sand hogs and the sled to kind of, after the train is moving, go alongside the train. Mm. Uh, we could also You'd figure out... You'd have to be quick about it. The train, uh, sure, I mean, she... One second. She pokes her head outside the the ten flap. She, like, does her elf eyes for a moment. Yeah, yeah. She comes back in. Once the train, shortly after the train leaves the confines of uh, Solavara, gets elevated a good ways above the tracks, for it then goes under the sand. So you're gonna have to time it out pretty pretty carefully, but it could work. It's a wonderful uh, play called Back to the Future, where you basically, like, as it's going, the other ones come along, if anyone's seen Back to the Future. Or like Fast and Furious. Three. Well, that, I haven't, seen, I haven't seen that play. Not that well read, but. So yeah. it really depends. Depends on what you're, uh, what you're interested in, but uh, you'll definitely have time. If it's the, the train that came in tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it's supposed to leave 12 a.m. Yeah, you've got about all day tomorrow. Uh, so you can figure it out. I do want to ask about the altercation on the bridge. How what many never still were there? Was there a copperhead one among well, them? That's what I'm still trying to figure out. There mm. was a jailbreak shortly after. Uh, oh, the records are messy, but the, there's a... It's not good. There's a dark steel torch bearer in town. Mm. And she sort of, she sits up a little bit with a oh, wine. What does that mean? It's not good. She, some of that sort of, again, her eyes sort of have that sort of pink purple glow and it sort of just darkens a little bit. It is all fun and games, this kind of work, but a torchbearer, you don't fuck with that. The solar born neither, but they're people, you can deal with them. The torchbearer, stay the fuck away from it. What is a torch bear? You can roll me an intelligent saving throw because because the never seal might have mentioned something about it. You you could roll. You could roll for sure. You could definitely roll. You could definitely roll. Intelligence save you said? No. Uh, for everybody who isn't bubbles, history. it's a uh, history check. <laughs> yeah, you. you I would know. Have no, no, no idea. No. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, mean, I, I don't know nothing about I have, I have nope. disadvantage, but... So now it's kind of the audience surrogate here. Oon? <laughs> First roll of the day. Crit roll? Crit, Crit roll. roll. First roll of the day. Excellent, excellent. Uh, it's always, always, uh, always a treat with Ailis. Bad. <sighs> okay, I'll come to that. I rolled poorly. How bad? I rolled a five. <laughs> that, means, dead. that means four. Bad. We're like... Uh. My, my monk schoolings. Ophanos. Ophanos. Someone carries a torch. People who hold flame. <laughs> Torch bearer. I know, Check. I know what they're doing. I mean, I don't know. Uh, actually, let me do uh, the north us. Six. Six? Oh, I um, let's go. Well. Yeah, it's you. A lot of things that you knew before as facts yeah. are now like a TV static when you try and come, come back to it. That's fine. 19. 19? <clears throat> On just sort of remembering <laughs> chats with. Uh, well, your, your talk with the Neversolds you went through the Heart Wild. They they spoke about things that they tried to avoid. Um, there are things that like they uh, and the, the more trained members of them are comfortable engaging with, and things that they aren't. And one of the things with, that was the big no-nos 
uh, with the walking lanterns of green flame. That that was a a hard like it's whatever the mission is, whatever the the uh, however large the bounty. If the green flame is present, let the bounty burn. Oh. And uh, is that what she's talking about? You have a feeling. <clears throat> oh. With a one, all you get thinking about Torchbearer, there is a flash of something that looks like a a cage of, uh, like a lantern cage of dark iron, green flame billowing, billowing from its slats, and the harrowing, harrowing words in a voice all too familiar, drink the light. Um, would this be considered um, uh, the uh, the walking lanterns of a green flame? You know, I've heard of them. Well, then you know to stay clear, unless you happen to be, you know, the best wizard of our age. I like to say I'm close. Then go for it. It'll give me much more to investigate when the town's turned into a crater. So you wouldn't do what we're gonna do? I could. At the A level? I could attempt it, but my skill set, and she taps the bracer, the, the, the half chest plate, my skill set is more explicitly designed at snuffing out flame. Let, let the, me, I, I am confused. This, this uh, torch person is has been seen around? It's, it's, there's one in town now. That does not mean that they will be on train. That no, no, no. I'm just saying, whatever you do in the town, steer clear of the torch bear. Will it just attack? No. Okay. It'll do what it's told, I hope. But I'm, I'm giving you the warning now because I, you look like you're... I mean, you look bruised now. You look roughed up a little bit. Looks like you had a a time getting there. It, I was, expect it was a time getting here that it was also we, we did not sleep very well. I'll put it to you this way. Days. Had I asked the group of you to jump the three vanguard outside before I froze them, would you have done it? Yeah. Right. That's why I'm saying be mindful of the solar bar. Right. Or be mindful of the, the, the torch bearer. I would have said no. The vanguard? Why would you say no? Well, so no. is the torch bearer. I, I, uh... But that's the, the, uh, the issue. And as you're having this conversation, you start to feel this like Vibration. What's that? <clears throat> Getting a call. <sighs> Is somebody coming? She sits up. Gilgor! <clears throat> Everybody, I'd like you to meet a dear colleague of mine, fellow legionnaire, Gilgor. And peeling back the the tent flaps. You now understand why the tent is the size this is, <gasps> as this huge yeah, I think Dean is large, so not huge, but sizable ramshackle golem of stone and rune etchings <laughs> peers into the the tent. I guess one arm pulling them back, the other arm holding like a, a, a fistful of shimmering trout. Hi. Oh my. Hi. Gail Gore, me, new friends. My friends. It sort of shuffles in and then just splays his two legs out, sitting down on the ground on the ground of the tent, chucks the trout in the pot in the middle. Gilgore likes friends. Bubbles kinda of waddles over. Ah, I like friends too. Gilgo's face is it's almost like the, the there's been a, an attempt to carve like a skull painting in this thing's face, and it has kind of not worked. So the, where the skull jaw is is almost like a, a very joyful jack-o'-lantern, jagged smile of runic light, and these two hollowed out pockets of stone caverns for the eye sockets with again these runic lights that were meant to be imposing eyes, but have kind of, kind of just warped to be like magic googly eyes a little bit. He, he looks like um, from Big Hero 6. Yeah. 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 Think yeah. think fantasy Baymax, but made of lots of different misshapen chunks of crazy paving stone with runic light sort of stitching everything together. Like a friendly, or like a gentle Korg from 
but bigger, but bigger. M- fuse Korg with the Iron Giant, Incredible. and we have well, well, what well, we're looking at. Well. Jail. Y- yeah, but sans everything else. Everything, yeah. Who looks down at you? Small friend. Big friend. Big friend. That's you. And he holds out his hands. I climb up into the hands. Friend like seat? I do. Are you able to carry? Oh my god. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> He just like beings. opens his chest and sort of like makes a, a cavern space ch- hole in it, his chest and just sits you in it. It's very warm. Not like unpleasantly, but just, but just like, like. You know how there are. You hear about, you know, the Romans had internal like heating because they pumped hot water underneath the stone tiles. That's the sort of sensation wow. of it. Comfy? Oh, very. Before you line them. It's like. The girl likes you. It's like a warm hug in here. That's what they say about Gelgor, bon the fun, warm hugs. I thought you said you didn't work on teams. I said, mostly not. Gelgor's the exception. Gelgor and Terence, they're my rider dies. Uh, Sethius is okay, but he does mostly his own thing anyway, so it's, it's me, the big man. You like small friend? I do, big friend. Uh, in Gilgore's chest, this thing is radiating magic, just like a walking arcane battery. Right. Uh, you put those on. Yes. And Hold they up. don't glow. Inside, oh. they don't glow. He, you remember what this, these look right. like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. Interesting. Hmm. Oh, they're different now. I forgot. Mm-hmm. Where? Oh, you see, hello. Um, Gilgul. What? Cold. Yes, I've been called that. Um, he just grabs a sleeping Whoa. bag and yeets it over to you. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> cozy. <laughs> no. I like Gilgul. Yeah, Elis, get cozy. Take your shoes off. <laughs> I was just, I'm just slowly get slink. Get <laughs> Slowly slink. <laughs> You heard him. Where are you from, Gilgore? Here. (laughs) I don't know what I expected. I'm gonna sort of like three-legged race hop to like a corner. I'm gonna go to bed now. You don't want stew? I I just- It's good stew. I will have some stew. You, it's gonna be ready in like three minutes. It's not good. The trout is, I tell you now, the trout does not last from that river to the next morning. Bubbles peeps his head out of the chest and goes, Alice, just eat something. Okay. Small friend says eat. And I, I heard him. I heard him. And big ball. friend says eat. I very sl- shuffle back. I'm, I'm going to speed run this fucking thing. <laughs> um, Jesus. Euphoria's got her eye on you and she's going to make you wait. Fuck. God the, damn it. Uh, is there anything else you need? Uh, plenty of wine. It's not good wine, but it's it's wine. I'm okay. Fine. I think we we'd like a nap. A nap. We're quite tired. Or That's easy by me. We're quite tired. She. But a couple minutes past, the the trout has turned to that sort of fun, like pink white color. She starts to just get so basic, very standardly carved wooden bowls passing them out to each you ladle some of this stew. Looks, the, the, the broth of it is like a green gray. I'm not gonna say that that looks particularly appetizing. There are chunks of potatoes, a couple of little like root vegetables chucked oh, in there as well. Cool. And then some nice chunks of flaky fresh trout. Just hands you each a bowl of it. Um, Gilgore just <sighs> takes a chunk of the, the sand that's been under the fire, where it's now warm. <sighs> Wow. Does it just start raining on Bubbles' head? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's like hot, masticated sand. It's just like trickling down. Ah, over my it feathers! It feels like you're under a particularly huh? warm shower. It's like it's like a spa. You but know, I'm not getting spas? clean. No, it's, you're it's getting like sandpapering you a little bit. Oh, it's exfoliating. Okay. But it, it, it drops down across you and then sinks further into the cracks between Gilgore's stones does as well. It, does it like pour out of him? No. Gil, Gilgore. Gilgore. Yes? I'm getting a little friend. wet down here. 
Oh, it's so It's okay. I, I, Do you want to leave? Never. It's so warm in here. You can stay. I can. Yes. I and Gilgo just <laughs> slams his back onto the ground. Night, night. Wow. Good night, you four. And you're now like lying. You've fallen with it. yeah. But his chest is still open. It's nice and warm. No, it closes on you. <laughs> That's, um, <laughs> no, that's my nightmare. That's 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 terrifying. I don't want to play with you anymore. <laughs> that's like the, Papa, I must consume to become yeah, real yeah. boy. <laughs> so, oh man. Uh, th- we, we eat the soup, we eat the stew. Yeah. Eat the soup. It yeah. tastes f- absolutely fine. Like the, the fish <laughs> is the best part of it by far. The fish is like fresh, has been steamed in this stew. The stew itself is like mid. The potatoes are cooked, I guess, and it's not spice at all. But it's 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 road stew. It's it's field yeah. rations made warm and interesting by way of uh, uh, being heated in liquid. Can I on a slide? I've been eating towards the entrance because I am not a legionnaire and I do not feel comfortable here. Mm-hmm. Um, I want to slide like five feet to the side of Sinov and hold out a little tiny dish from my bag. Do you still? Put extra salt on everything. Yeah. Thanks. Yep. Now I'm gonna go back towards the entrance. Like sitting, mm-hmm. but as close to the entrance as I can be. Euphoria is definitely still awake. She's not, she is gonna sort of just be observing you all. She's not trying to hide the fact that she's observing you all. She's doing it quite openly. At some point, you hear as Terrence lands, she like, hey boy! Yeets him out of fish. But otherwise, she's just watching. Question. Mm-hmm. Did we leave that cultist in the desert or did we bring him with us? That's a you question, guys. We... I mean, we would have all all them, brought him with us. The lobotomized guy? I thought they all got, the, the they all got eaten no, no, no. by the thing. No, no, no. The, the bold, oh. white-robed... We... The one who's cleansed. I think we left. I, I That's don't, not your call. We, it's not, but I don't remember I don't any of us saying that we brought him. We didn't leave him. That seems if, inhumane. If, we can go, if somebody from in the chat can say what we said during mm-hmm. that... There's no way we left a man in the desert. I, I don't. It's like 115 degrees. Just tied up outside. Or did it I don't it? remember was, us taking fine. him. We had a conversation with him. I would have been very. Fine. I don't think we actively took him, but we didn't actively leave him. I think we just might have forgotten because there's a lot of other things yeah. happening. He's still on the skiff because no one told him to get off. If I'll put it this way, oh, I'll ask you. I mean, chat can correct us, but do we think you guys like? Hog tied him to the raft. No. Do you uh, think you cut him free? I, I, was he free? He was tied yeah. to the ra- to the mast That's, of the other boat. Yeah. The, the Sanof would free. not leave a member of the faithful to die Correct. in the desert. That, that, <laughs> that, that, that <laughs> I did. I'm saying, and I'm and I'm saying that the chat is the chat is uh, uh, the chat is I uh, agreeing with what I had remembered that I think we finish it and we never mention yeah. what we did with it. So at that I'm point opening, in the night, we were like trying to wrap it up. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm opening it up to say. You cut him free. Did you leave him to his own devices, or did you actively bring him on the roster? Sinov question. That is. He was cut well, free. Everybody agrees. I think Sinov would have said, "We're going to a town. If you want to follow us on this boat, on the other boat, you're welcome to. And then you can go spread the good word in town." So, with that, <laughs> I will say, during the daytime at least, Thank under you, the light of the sun in the hot desert, as you guys trucked along on your raft. You would have seen this guy full Terminator 2 sprinting at like mock speeds across the desert. Like hustling. Sand turning to glass underneath his feet, eyes trailing light, just like mm, 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 oh. following you directly. Oh, then that's a, a much bigger point of conversation we need to have. So he he's, if so, Straight he's standing down. outside. Well, no, okay, I wasn't let to go to sleep. Okay, I'm gonna uh, grab my bowl that I finished and fill it up with more stew and then bring it out to him. Oof. Okay. No. Uh, Euphoria, okay. where are you going? Uh, I just have uh, a friend who is nearby town who uh, met up with us in the desert and then is, is making his way into Sulavara, so I thought I'd give him a little extra stew if that's okay with you. Just have to check. 
Oh, my dreams. We're gonna do these. We're gonna do Lua's dice for. They're not an Iskari, right? right? They're a, they're an elf. They're an elf. Okay. Mm. Okay. That's an eighteen. Damn. Hell yeah. She leans back. Do what you want. Just uh, I'll be waiting up till you get back. Okay. I won't be long. If I am long, I'm I'm dead. Come save me. Can. I can't okay. promise I'll do that, mm. but uh, wish you the best. I'll let them know that you uh, you left. Okay. Do, do you want me to come with you? Uh, For safety. Uh, sure. Yeah, sure. You can meet. You can meet him. He's, you know, he's my first convert. I would love to meet him. Okay. 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 We go. Okay. <laughs> Please. I sleep as well. <laughs> Gibble gabble, slumber. Because I you'll pass out. Drive all day. <laughs> yeah, you can drive all day. <laughs> Nobody drives a fucking boat. Uh, you're just touch me, tucked do it. up to the chin in the sleeping bag. Yep. You're in slum town in in, in Gilgal. I don't think I, I don't think I have a choice. I think I paused. Like, you, you like eat the soup. I was like, fine. Uh, <laughs> while you were asleep, Head you do not dream exactly. There is a moment in the middle of the night where you feel like your eyes are closed and you hear a sound like thundering footsteps and like you're being squeezed through a really tight cylindrical space. A lot of like weird noise and and forced movement, but that's about all that happens to you during the night. Do I, right before I go to bed, hear the scratches? Scratch? What? Not tonight. What either of that means. No, you don't. Uh, Gibble gabble. It doesn't have to be a long thing. You I go just outside. Check, check on. Terrence is like nested in the sand, just ripping apart these trout. And if, you, if the tent is here, you came at about from this direction. About 60 feet back the way you came is this guy just standing in the sand. Hi, friend. Oh. Hello. Hi, how are you? I am much I, better now. Yeah. And he, sort of, he, he gets down on both his knees. What would you ask of me? Well, I brought you some food. I figured you'd be hungry after all that running you did. I need nothing, only your light. Oh my god. That's very kind of you to say. <laughs> that is just the truth. <laughs> well, I want to make sure that you're healthy. Would you mind eating this? Only if you want to, though. But it should be I good want for you. What you want? I would love it if you wouldn't starve to death. I cannot. I am filled with your light. Shame. <laughs> Does that mean you live off of the sun? I am filled with your light. Uh huh. But would you like to be filled with some trout stew too? I need nothing but what you would ask of me. Okay, I'm gonna ask you to eat this because I'm worried about if you're getting your vitamins. It would please me to do so. Okay. Huh? Uh, could you remind me of your name? I'm so sorry. What would you name me? Oh my God. <gasps> Up, 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 up. Sano. The chicken. names come You're home. there. <laughs> yeah, you're there. <laughs> What's Sano? in the names? The come home. Come home. Yes. When did this happen? Uh, Who is this? Uh, this is my sister. She is a heretic. Oof. Yeah, but we're working on her, just like how... that a lot today. She bears the weight of something else. I know she does. I, I sense it too. What would you like me to do with her? Oh. Oh. People, remember how before you let God into your heart the, and how you were, and, and so people can be convinced. You just need to allow them to come around to it. You can give them grace. Do I recognize what has happened to him? The affliction. Ooh. Like, the you magical can roll lobotomy? Me a... <laughs> That was great. That I was don't want to roll that. Uh, you can roll me a check, religion check. check. Religion check. Come on. The only time we can do this. Oh, that is a 19 Hell yeah. plus one for a dirty 20. You were almost him. <gasps> that's what I thought. She re-educated him. Mm, no. That's not what I mean. <gasps> you, you, oh. Yeah. There we go. What happened to you uh, went well. And you are here now because of it. What happened to him went too far. 
Oh my God. I mean, do you remember your name before you were baptized? There is nothing before. Baptized? There is only the light. Bam. Okay. Baptized. Well, there is only the one true faith. Nothing before matters. You are correct in that. What would you name me? Hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> I like. Well, if we're trying to bring back back the light, maybe soul. Soul. Yeah, you like that? I do. And he stands a little taller, and the pupils of his eyes just start to fade a little bit. Greatly. What would my title be for you? Oh, lighted one. Um, I think you are a carrier of light. Then so I shall be. So. Better call Carrier soul. of light. That is beautiful. You are beautiful. <laughs> he stands nice and tall. If he had any means by which to blush, he would probably do so, but that has long since been stripped of him. Soul. Congratulations. Congratulations. Um, when did you find the light? On the day of my birth. When was that? When it was needed. Snow. Yeah. When did this happen? A few days ago. We were attacked by a bunny cult. And I went and talked to him. And he wanted to die. And I just... I, I just talked to him and said, Hey, like, there are other options. You know, if you open your heart to God and pray and really mean it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And... That's all that you did? Yeah. Why are you looking at me like I have something on my face? You have a little bit of trout. Oh, okay. It's not fairly noticeable. Okay. Fairly noticeable. Um, have you done this to anyone else? Are there other carriers of light? Or is Soul the only one so far? He looks very, he's like expectant. He is the first. I am the first. Congratulations. This is... Wow. Um... Thank you for letting me meet Soul. I just wanted to make sure you were safe out here, but I am... That's my stomach growling. I'm gonna go get a second bowl of soup and let you guys catch up. I'm sorry to impose. I'm gonna go inside. You go outside? Yeah, I go outside. <laughs> like, okay. I have to get away from this. I'm gonna leave now. I'm now terrified. As no. he just watches Lenore go back into the tent. Is she to be the second? Oh. <laughs> well, that is entirely up to her, and if she wants that. But we will find more friends. What Wait. would you have me do? Well, as you're the first carrier of light, I think go and make friends like I made you my friend. That I can do. No! Anna Minshew. No! I will report back. When there are four others, I will be here. Okay. I will come to you. You'll be able to find me? Of course. You are the only light I see. No. You're incredible. He gives up a, a steep bow and just walks into the dark. You've got scary people. <laughs> She's got scary people. Okay. I don't show them. So now stands there for a little bit and <laughs> kind of just like lets it sink in for a sec. Like, <laughs> and then looks up at the stars and says, uh, Stella, I think, I think we're making progress. Just the, the book? The book vibrates. You're gonna open it? Sure. You crack open the book, and there's nothing written in there, but the sort of warmth and glow as <laughs> teenage Stella manifests next to you. I don't know if I can remember. Out of all the the pieces of my memory, if there is any moment 
so golden as this one. Th everything else is so fuzzy and faded, and this... This is good, Sinov. This is a... A wound that will no longer scar. She looks up. And there are no stars and no moon that could ever shine as bright as you are shining right now. <laughs> Kyle! I thought... I did not know what we would find down here. I just knew we had to, had to be here. And that is why. That is one why. This is just the beginning. <laughs> I'm she glad you're here with me. Gives you, she like goes to give you what would be a hug if Stella was a person, but she kind of breaks like a wave of light on you, sort of fragmenting around you. Um, and you just feel like warmth and this this sense of belonging. Everybody else is asleep in the tent? Yes. Then Eating my second bowl of soup. But yeah, for the moment, you just feel... Oh, she's, she's... I'm eating my second bowl of soup. Okay. Oh. <laughs> I'm having a bad time. <laughs> okay. Uh, are you doing anything else? Once she breaks like a wave on you, you... She sort of dissipates, but uh, first of all, if I think you've already spent the other one. Inspiration. Inspiration. Uh, are you heading back into the tent? Yeah, I think I take one deep breath and like a confident roll of the shoulders, hair toss, and then walk into the tent. Hey. When your sister walks back into the tent, her eyes are not the eyes you know. <laughs> her eyes are from corner to corner, just gold. L I luminescent gold? Faintly. Okay. Like Steelers gold, like uh, kind of. And I'll I'll tell you this because in your travels, that kind of uh, feature, facial feature, mm -hmm. would only really be present in like an Asimov. Cool. cool. Which you know, your sister is not. Was there when she was born? Um, yeah, <laughs> was in fact that. Why are you? I didn't have any more trout. I have nothing on my face. Why are you looking at me like that? Your um. Your eyes are different, and I i was just thinking I probably need a different uh, nickname for you. Well, they're different? Like bad different? No, they're just changed color. Um, they're gold. Quite striking. Oh, it's a good look. Oh, thank you. Don't agree. What? What? Don't gesture me. You're not ranked. You can't, <laughs> you can't do that. I don't even care about the ranks. That's a that's a good look for you, but I can see what I want. She's a subordinate. We'll talk about you joining the Copper Legion another time. Um, <laughs> your right. eyes just golden. It's just surprising. Well, people have said I have a you know sparkling personality, so maybe my eyes are just starting to match that. I'll think of a different nickname if you. Don't like your old one. You're also you're you're grown up now, so. But if when when you were little, I called you my little bluebird. Um, but I mean, you can still call me that if you want. The eyes fade back to Sonos' normal eyes in that statement. Mm. O only if you'd be comfortable with that. I don't know exactly what I'm comfortable with you calling me right now, if I'm gonna be honest. It's why I had it. <laughs> you probably just takes a chunk of the wine. You're very worried, Um. This is my tent. Let's just say it's her tent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I own this. Um. What I said earlier is still, still the same. I want to give you your space and let you get some rest. And if, if you still want to talk, I'm around. Um, if you're doing something dangerous, I'm around. Yeah, I'd love to know what you're lying about. But we can talk about that later. Sure. Um, okay, I... 
I'm so rusty. I haven't talked to anyone in a really long time. <laughs> if I had to put it into numbers, I'd have a six charisma. Um... <laughs> <laughs> we, we have a, we have a good one. That's, 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 that's why I hate you. Yeah, we're, um, we're both just not first of all. But that's why I hate you. Because maybe at some point the you. double negative will like. <laughs> we'll be best friends. Um, together, it's a twelve. <laughs> we're, we're, that's not how that works. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> together, but, it's a minus four. Um, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not intentionally lying if I'm lying, um, but I do have some things I need to check to make sure I can share. And I think we would need a lot of time to talk and I'm appreciative of you listening and I'm, I am okay and I take anger, sadness, However you're feeling is okay. And I I know today was a lot, so if you wanna get some rest and we'll talk about it whenever you're ready, I'm I I would like to I I would be here if that's okay with you. But and I will leave when you want me to leave. Like I said, I deserve to hear you out. You deserve that. And everything is never, you know, set in stone. Anything can be changed. There's still time for you to come to the lab. Okay. Um, yes. Absolutely. Um, I, I, I'm gonna take a walk. I like to walk before I go to bed. Um, I'll, let, I'll let you sleep. You're too old for a bedtime story. Um, so yeah, I'll just go. Yep. Okay, well, I'll see you tomorrow then. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Oh, oh, Sherry. Sure. Am I ever glad I don't have any close friends? family left. That was gross to watch. If I wasn't so uncomfortable right now, I think I would really like you. And then I'm gonna leave. Heard. <laughs> and received. Great stuff. She just uh. sits back again. Just waiting. Um, so no, did not follow me. No one follows me on my walk. Do you want to be following? No, I'm making sure. I was like, Kyle had his mouth kind of open, and I was like, what no is he going to say? Me. I'm just still <laughs> shocked. Shocked? Shocked. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Please. If I may. Yeah. Uh, you get a little, like, as you pass by, little little big Terrence from the sand. Hey, you little big Terrence. Hey. Okay. I'm going to nestle back in. I'm going to walk a good distance. Safe. Yeah. Like, I'm not too far, but I can't yeah. be over her sure. distance. And as I'm walking, the steps get kind of slower as I'm going. And that, like, uncomfortable mask of calm drops to just, like, manic anger. And my tattoo starts swirling and smoke comes off, and so then the whip is formed in my hand, and I'm gonna throw it. I'm just gonna chuck it as far as I can and bellow up. V, get down here right now! You throw the whip, mm -hmm. and it just continually unspools and unspools and unspools and unspools from your arm like a long piece of fly line fishing rope. So just before it pulls you down into the sand, and you just get a mouthful of grit as the stars shift, not even the stars, but the liquid ink between the stars in the firmament up mm. there mm. The just shifts. And the, the stars, stars almost form a shape in the, in the sky. That if you were anyone else, yeah, you yeah. wouldn't notice, but you can read the sigils of starlight that just says, stop. Is that a 
complete sentence. When you look back up to the sky, the stars are in the same place they were moments ago. Uh, let the, let it come back. <laughs> Coward! Do you say that out loud? Yeah. <laughs> no. I did. Yeah, I did. The sand drops from beneath you. That's fine. Oh, yes. The stars peel down in almost like a dome. Shifting and shuddering as if they were little pieces of ferrofluid being clung to many different magnets on the outside of an invisible glass sphere beyond your perception. The stars pulse as if they were sand on the edge of a speaker that was just bass boosted. Say that again. out of my mouth. Coward. Black, black, are you on the back? The stars <laughs> go out and you are just drifting in a pool of black. Or not. <laughs> <laughs> you, there's a moment or two of you floating here or not. and you lose the confines of your own body. It's like you've been plunged into a sensory deprivation tank. Just nothing. Slow moving, cloying liquid sticking to the inside of your trachea, filling your lungs with every breath as you expand to become part of this darkness. I take you in in kindness out of a joint finding. I seek you as a snake seeks food. You are a tool in an empty box. But you need me, and I need you. Do you like this space wherein you find yourself? No. This is what befalls all of us if we are to fail. Say it again. if he's going to kill me right oh. now. <laughs> but so quickly behind it. So quickly what? So quickly behind the oh. mm -hmm. coward. I am mad at you because I am mad at myself because she was going to be re-educated and I wasn't there because she was... because she ran away from home and I wasn't there and you may be the reason that I am alive today, but you are also the reason that I was not there for her. And you are a coward for not letting me go to her, and I am a coward for not finding her again. When my family was smote upon the mountains, I was stuck in this ink. We are two sides of a great coin. You would do well to remember such things, tool. Fuck me. Be a better tool if I was better informed and if I could control where I was. If we could control all that we wished, none of us would be here as we are. The ink. <laughs> compacts inwards. Lenore does not return to the tent that evening. 
Huh? Out late. Oh no. Get Wendy. Oh no. Okay. Are you comfy with that? <laughs> the people with violence come like, whoa! <laughs> Shit, my turn! That was Marquita. <laughs> I'm trying to decide if she would still be awake long enough for it to. Um, uh, you can roll me a constitution save. You would have gone to sleep at some point. Yeah. yeah. We definitely. We, you haven't had a long rest in two Ooh, days. That's an eight. Oh, yeah. That's an You've eight. You haven't had a long rest in a while. Give we'll go. Plus two. Summer. No, plus two, so that's a, that's a ten. Ten? Fat ten. You like. Oh, I know that feeling. God. Like you're in a special. You. It, it, EP. Yeah. The EPs take you. Yeah. <laughs> EP. EP the allegation too strong. EP. The allegations are damning. But if I do sleepwalk and if I come to the tent and she's not there in the morning, then I will uh, freak out. So. Freak out. Can you run me a D100 before Ooh. I get to Kyle? Yeah. Before you get to Kyle? Sure. Before I get to Kyle? <laughs> Just, just, just to make sure no one was like, okay. It was yeah, just yeah. like, yeah, yeah, let's do one Good. fucked up thing before I do something. Else fucked up. <laughs> 77. What? 77? That's a good number. You, uh, good number. Do not sleepwalk this night. Mm. Uh, but in this dream with the, the dead tree and the ruined temple on the grassy hill, again, the serpent does not appear. The phoenix, the young phoenix on the, on the ruins, sort of gives you a, a nod and with a <laughs> flies up and gives you free reign over the dream. Ooh. Or at least free reign of movement. Uh-huh. Um, I want to try to go inside the tree again, then. Fuck yeah. Go inside the tree. Free reign. Welcome to my house. Uh, you... <laughs> Look in. Uh-huh. The, 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 hey, MTV, this is mine. The tree roots. <laughs> Looks to be like there's enough of a crawl space. You... Peering through, and there's a <laughs> the rustling of infinite like peat parchment just like rattling across each other, and you s- almost see this stream of scrolls and paperwork fly past you into this pinprick of green light in the distance, and you are like pulled into it before you wake up in the tent later that morning. Oh. Book is on you again okay. this evening. Kyle. Kyle. Or rather, <laughs> JB. JB. Yeah. Oh, good, I'm not in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> JB. Kyle. JB is also fine, but JB has a very lurid dream. Mm. A what? Because we have, we have a lurid? Uh, lurid or blurred? You find yourself at the top of a volcano, or find your consciousness on the top of a volcano. Mm. Almost like a camera, like a. Bim, 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 bim. You you go down into the the mouth of the volcano. The lava flows swirl around you almost as if they're moving down into the the crevice of the mountain with you. And at some point they converge almost like a whirlpool. Your consciousness swirls down into the magma until you find this basin of crag and rock and heat, these sort of veins of lava moving towards the center of this almost jagged stone island, in the middle of which sits, it looks similar to both a a construct of steel and dark iron and a natural golem, but it itself is covered in runic hieroglyphs pulsing in shifting lava. And as you drift into this chamber, it looks up towards you. And you can see it has a almost stretched humanoid face stitched onto this golem. Ooh, Guardians 3? Kinda, yeah. But again, it has these runes tattooed all over its face as it watches you drop down. Two have been taken. Shit. Find the remaining four. It's the same thing. And with that, as it finishes its sentiment, it, your consciousness almost drops as if off a roller coaster <laughs> into the lava, and you're awake. Did I have a dream? You've had your dream. 
Oh, fine. I thought just like another dream. Lovely dream about going to a spa. Oh, that's kind of You're in a hot sand bed. Yeah, hot sand bed. Yeah, you you have a fat fucking nap, bro. You're slumby. Slumber. Gibble gabble. Uh. Long rest? Long rest. Oh! Do I get a long rest? Fuck no. <laughs> absolutely not. I knew better. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I knew better. I'm sorry. Hold somebody. Yeah, no, absolutely not. Um, nice. It was so good, though. That was such a good scene. Well, you won't talk to me if I don't get his attention. Squilliam, you said Push, it's build. a level one spell <laughs> I don't get back this long. One level one spell is what you do not. Damn it. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling apt, baby. And that was I'm a slave. Slave. I'm like, And that was because why? Uh, I don't know. Okay, I don't remember. It was something that happened. Something I think, that I think happened. It's your little, your think oh, little, the grubby grubs. You got corrupted by the yeah. grubby grubs. Uh, scrubs, rummers. But I, we just haven't. We just haven't slept. Yeah, we just haven't slept yeah. in um, eons. Yeah. You wake up. Uh, the sun has. Uh, she has risen. But uh, gross! Don't say that. She has. No, I'm, I'm uh, pretty sure she went wandering uh, off in the fucking desert. But she Euphoria <laughs> is not in the tent. Euphoria. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's gone. Oh. That's good. Well, oh, oh, you let her. You let your sister go as well. That's good. She's not here. Oh shit. What? Uh, I better go check to make sure she's not dead. Dead or killing someone. Uh, Seems like. Vader's tails. Tails of the village. Oh hey, okay. father. Uh, why do the villagers hate us so? Mm -hmm. Wait, maybe Euphoria and mm -hmm. Lenore are off together somewhere. Okay. She was cool. Well, how hey. late in the day is it? Uh, it's, it's, you know, at most 8 a.m. Uh, Does anyone want to come look for my grumpy sister with me? Not at all. <laughs> uh, the the Gilgore sort of gets up. You are awake, small friend. My dear big friend. Oh. You, I mean, what a cavernously wonderful sleep that was. You sleep well. I slept so well. Did you sleep well? I do not sleep. You don't sleep? No. How do you, what? That sounds- It is not needed. Oh, what did you just do then? Pretend. <laughs> did you really? Oh, you're so yes. Did you close your eyes? I do not have. <laughs> yeah, you, you you have eyes. Sort of kink, kink, kink taps the inside of his eyes. Oh, gosh. Magic. Well, that's exciting. Did Thank you, you for laying down. That was helpful. I pretend. And you sleep well. I slept so well. Well, I almost. Almost. It's, uh, I don't feel... Uh, as full as I normally do, but that has nothing grabs, to do with you. Oh grabs, one the, the, the <laughs> <laughs> grabs one of the the grabs one of the like sleep sleeping bags and just like <laughs> <laughs> stuffs them no. into the chest. Come free. You you did wonderful. It has nothing to do with you. Uh, things <laughs> uh, things that happened with us uh, the other day I think affected my sleep. It's not you. It, oh. It's just in my head, and I, I it's me. I, I couldn't, okay. I couldn't get in the right head I, 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 Start smoking. I think I would enjoy our friendship to blossom as it has already. You are Legion? I am. I, I am Legion. You're, you're part of the Legion. Yes. This was a, all right. I'm sorry. No, it's fine, you both, you both were there. Are you, you all well? Yeah. I will, I will follow you. Okay. Yeah, we're great. Thank you for asking. He like gets, starts to get up, gets out of the tent. I go to bathe. How do you bathe? What? It is my job. To bathe. He just starts lumbering across the desert towards Sonovar, wow. or towards the the west of Sonovar. That I've made a friend. Yeah, good job. You don't want to go swimming with said friend. I thought we have to go. We have to work, we're on the clock. Yeah. Oh, that's it, the train doesn't leave for a while. You, you need to find your sister. Well, yeah. yeah, but that's just outside. She's probably just, I don't know, being moved. You moving. hear from out in the in the sands, <laughs> are you all awake? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Get out. No. Yeah. Oh, okay. I guess breakfast we, is We get out, and I <laughs> immediately look around for Lenore. Don't have to look much, because 
Uh, crucified. Uh, crucified. <laughs> <laughs> um, Where's Lenore? So, oh my god, a coward three Euphoria times. is arms crossed, just like walking towards the tent. Behind Euphoria, on, on their wings and feet, is uh, Terence, dragging by scruff of clothing <gasps> in beak a slumbied Lenore. <gasps> what happened? Your sister normally takes sleep in the desert. I she don't... also looks wicked sunburned. Oh no, I don't know. I haven't seen her in a while, so I don't know what her hobbies are. You don't keep track? You're not your sister's keeper? No. Evidently. Well, she was taking a nice sweet nap in the dirt. I assumed she had been dehydrated and potentially passed away, but she's breathing. She's breathing just fine. Okay, oh shoot, I should probably, oh, I don't know, he- heal her? Do, can I do a medicine check? Yeah, so Terrence would... <laughs> Just sort of chucks Lenore over, gives her a little nuzzle with his beak. My eyes closed, unconscious. You're you're slumbied. You're in slumbied oh, town. Yeah, 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 fine. Uh, yeah, it's somewhere between fully just like tapped out and yeah. asleep. Fair. <laughs> I deserved it. Yeah, 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 that's what how it goes. Consequences. It's it's the Greek myths have taught me something at least. I got a fifteen for medicine. Uh, fifteen for medicine. She looks a tremendously dehydrated. And B, there is a uh, there is an, a slight arcane or magical emptiness to her. There is something. There is like a puzzle piece that has been removed. Oh no! You wouldn't. I oh. wouldn't. Oh no! Oh, uh, I'm gonna splash some water on I her face not. first before I use any magic. I'm just gonna take my little thing and go. Yeah. <laughs> Slurp. She's. Go, hello? <laughs> Lenore! Elf, wake up! I'm gonna like pat her on the face. Can I hear slightly. Lenore's best snore? Le snore? I don't know how to snore. snore. I don't know how to snore. It's like a. Snort. Give me what you got. I can snore. Give me what you got. <laughs> I'm the only one here who's not an actor. Give me what you got. Let me hear the snore. Can snore. Your body is capable of it. <gasps> Oh, oh, always shit. snore. Somebody snore. clip it. Somebody <laughs> clip it. I have some so breathe sorry. right strips you can I'm borrow. So sorry. What? Sometimes. Give me your snore. Okay, okay. Um, Lenore, deeper voice, so it'd be like. <laughs> that's that's, that that that's actually that's how Sam. Exactly what I was right. looking for with the with the water getting up the nose. Yeah, that's what you get out of Lenore with the water splash. Where is did this, you learn that Is this that some one? family thing, some, some technique? I think maybe they both just go walk about once they're asleep. <coughs> You're awake now. I feel Lenore like... is not awake. Oh, You're shit. Just um, choking on water. Um, <laughs> You're actively just uh, drowning in water. I don't know what else. Oh, I don't know if waterboarding your sister is necessarily the action you wanted to take, but that's yeah, fine. That seems... I'm the medical professional well, here. Well, evidently not, but that's fine. You're chucking water on your sister. Okay, 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 everybody just shut the hell up. Oh. <laughs> <It's> oh. <enough. laughs> so no, I can, I can give her a little shock. Uh, first, let me let me see if Stella can help me because the, the, this, yeah. Uh, she opens the book, puts it down in front of I bet $100,000 Stella does not help. Uh, would you put the book down where in front of Lenore? Like Lenore's like on the ground. She she like opens it up like kind of like in front of her head. Oh, the book the... snaps shut. Stella. Stella. Oh, this Stella. is my sister. She needs help. The book is not opening. If we help her, maybe she'll listen to me. Uh, having seen that, I'm going to approach. What? The book does not open. Have it, uh, can I can I do just a little little sensey sense based on on that reaction? What do you mean sensey sense? I just want to get a feel. For what? Uh, you know. what? What are you trying to? What I'm trying, trying to, to feel like if, because to me, like I've never seen that book. Say are, you, like, are you sensing book? Are you sensing no, Lenore? I'm sensing Lenore. What part? Of, what? What? What are you palping? The way I can like there has been like magical oogly boogly from the book and from her. Yeah, magical oogly boogly from her. I'll come on, baby. Thank you. I do not want Stella to touch me. For the record, I'm definitely JB. I don't know how much JB is going to be able to sense, but he is. In, engaged and like yeah. is trying to help. So, is there anything I can try you to? You can. I mean, if, if anybody's gonna get into active like boots on the ground, regular regular medicine, you can assist with that. Okay. No, I'm not trying to help. I'm just trying to acknowledge. Yeah, you're trying to be like, what the what the <laughs> fuck's going on here? Like, like, whoa, whoa, who, why, why is what It was a it was a four for a nine, so it wasn't very good. But uh, there is uh, 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 
there is magic here and it is not arcane. Ooh, can I check it out? We're all just like, mm, somebody's unconscious. <laughs> What's going on? Hey, so, you can. can. Yeah, I are you check? Are you sussing it out? Are you helping? I'm not gonna help. Fuck <laughs> yeah, Bobble. That's my man. You wanna help? You wanna? You wanna? Am I able to look it? Such what is my level of like understanding <laughs> key in mm-hmm, others? Mm-hmm. I think y- you could be a a what's the word? Uh, uh, Catalyst. Like a traditional medicine healer, like a uh, uh, not acupuncture, but like you could you could try Reiki. and yeah, like yeah. Reiki sort of healing okay. shit, right? That that's your Energy understanding cleansing. of key in the body of others. I would say. Mm. Okay, um, so I'm going to I'll go and kind of like kneel down. Uh, by her head, and kind of put my hands ar- like kind of not on her head, but like like here ish. I don't want to. I want to try to like send a pulse of energy through to see if like that like is a catalyst I for a reaction. Love Clear. that. You want to spend a key point? Sure. I know you're not in focus, but I, I love this. Yeah. And I would say if you want to spend a key point, I would have you roll a medicine check with advantage. I would love to spend a key point. Uh, yeah. I rolled a 15. What are you looking for? Arcana. Ar- arcanely. Arcanely? What are you looking for? Well, uh, uh, this, the, the unconscious body of a comrade. Just, just why? Comrade. Okay, um, don't speak <laughs> Like, if there is anything uh, magical afoot that I we have to kill all of them, like, am, people first. Uh, if it's a study of magic that I understand. You can, again, get the sense that there is magic radiating off of this person, particularly that tattoo, but it is not magic that you would be able to use. It is magic that is being channeled from somewhere else that is not studyable. Damn. It is, you can, like, it's... If you were to be able to manifest your magic in one way, this is magic that you is not tangible to you. And I, I'll, I'll tell you, for lack of a better, even though it's you, it's the same kind of sensation you get around Sinov's book. Different flavors, same family. Very different flavors. Are you? Well, go ahead. Natural 20. Um, oh, let's fucking go! Somebody call the doctor. For a total of 21. 21. You just like, what, actually describe it for me. What does this look like for you? Um, growing up, he, there, obviously, like, in at the temple, there are probably, like, the more healing focused of monks and, like, uh, people who, uh, like, go there. And there, on the other side, there's more of like combative and, and shit like that. Obviously, JB spent most of his time doing stuff like that, but like definitely had seen it before um, and has not tried this before, um, but really just kind of went off of a, a feeling, just like an instinct. Yeah. Um, trying to trying to see like oh like something's not. Something's not flowing correctly. There, there is, there is something stuck. So he, uh, just kind, he focuses his key towards his hands and then just tries to kind of, like, pulse it between them, uh, it, so that it. For in for you, this is not something you practiced before, but for some reason there, it you just like. You let yourself for a moment slip into unconscious competence. It just comes easily and naturally to you. There's a there's the key, the energy, mmm, and you know what? The story writes itself. Your proximity to the Gilinaris River, it's just all attuned, right? This is the same river from which all of the key in the world stems from, right? So it's just in the air. So you just attune to the natural vibrancy, the resonance of the, the space around you, you breathe in, you attune yourself to your own energy, it sinks straight through Lenore, and there is a pulse in the sand that briefly makes the sand look like uh, sort of speckled Hawaiian black sand mm-hmm. underneath Lenore. And it dissipates almost like starlight into the grit. Your eyes snap open. Uh, can I see your character sheet? Oh no. Oh, oh no. Can I oh, see it's glued your to character? the table. That's so weird. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> give me that, give me that, give me that. Oh no. oh no! Oh, that's my cards. It's okay. Yes, my spell. It's broken. Cards. They're not in order. It's okay. Oh, 
Girl. This is not what I want. Baby. This is not. Where are you up there with this? That's not what I want. That's not what I want. That's what I'm looking for. Do you need a pencil? No, I do not. Uh, until your next long rest, you cannot cast level three spells. You've been put in time out. Okay. You've been nerfed. I was asking for it. These balance um, changes, man. It, I, I did call him a coward three times. Level or? Despite. Oh. Um, so, eyes open. I guess no revivify, guys. <laughs> Am I laying on the ground with two giant blue monk hands around my head and there was just a you, pulse of barbarian, sorry. It, it was the key thing. The, uh, the, it, it was around the head or around the, the chest? I said it, head, not touching head. Around, like, like, I'm, I'm yeah, picturing I, like Kitty Pride. Yeah, uh, I know over, exactly where you uh, are. I know exactly where Logan. You wake up to that. see uh, uh, obsidian suited V above you. Hands uh, over oh. the head. Uh, that almost pale blue gray face, jet black eyes. Remember what we are here for. I am with you, but tread lightly. And you blink, and it's JB. I just grab the both of your wrists. Ah, hey, no, it's it's okay, it's okay. You're okay. You're hurting my wrists. Your hands. I, I I will move them for you. If you put your hands near me again, without my permission, you will not have hands. And I'm gonna get up, look uh, around. Totally. This is great entertainment. Loving this. We doing okay? We need some food, we need a little water. Seems not. Yes, this is what's known in my profession, facetious. Hmm. I'm learning. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I think I'm gonna take her into town to get her some food and water. Town is a great idea. You wanna go with you? You are probably busy. I thought busy. you were working. In town, I. But okay. I don't have to go. If you, if you, you want to go alone, D racks go alone. I'll just, I'll be here. No, if you'd rather go alone, I get it. It's, I, it's the way I work as well. But I can't tell you that I'll be here by the end of the night. So if you're looking for me, just, uh, uh, I don't know, wait around the. Um, I'll probably visit the, uh, the caravan. Wait, I thought but, we. Uh, I thought we had decided that, that that we were getting on something at noon. We're getting on the train at noon. N- no, at train, noon. I mean, if you want to get on the train at noon, you could probably just walk on, buy a ticket, and get on. But the train isn't going to leave till near midnight. As far as I know. Well, I was doing the other twelve. Yeah, that's the, there are two of them. <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to walk into town with us, and uh, if we need you, we'll come find you. Well, it seems seems a right bit time, so maybe I'll let you go walk into town. Do your own thing, figure it out. I'll stay here till about mid-afternoon in case you have come back with more questions. And if you want to be dropped off on the bloody train by via Terrence here. But uh, after mid-afternoon, if I don't see you, I'll assume you've figured it out on your own and I'll send the pelican back with a report that you've begun your task. Aye? Sounds right. great. Grand? Thank you. Mm-hmm. Grand. Off. See Thank you. you very much for your hospitality. Always, it's literally my job. She heads back into the. Uh... Is town like walking distance from? Yeah, it's, you can see the the wood walls of the town here. It's m- at most a fifteen minute hike through the the scorching sun. Cool. Mm. All right, are we going. I suppose so. Lenore, I just need some water. Yeah, you can have some of my water. Thank you. Have a we'll fun you evening. Food. What, what the hell? We're walking. Yeah. What the hell? We're walking. We're walking. Um, I had a really bad meeting last night. I don't want to talk about it right now. You. Who did you meet with? Did you go talk to Soul? No, I had a bad. Who's Soul? Who's? My friend. Oh god. We are your friends. Yeah. Yeah, you are. You're also my friend. You mean the the, the uh, terrifying man? terrifying man Sheep? chasing us through the desert? Yes. Sheep man. Where did that terrifying man go? He went off to do you know work. In what works? Inside. All three of you are like. Inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, Romy, that's a deception, whether you want it to be or not. It's a. It's no? a deception. 
Persuasion. 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 Because he is going to do well. I'll take deception because I'm professional. I, it's, I will always argue this. Do deception well. does not mean lying, literally. It I, means withholding information. For me, in, at my table, deception does mean you are specifically telling something that is factually untrue. Hmm. I, uh, that's just the way I rule it. Uh, but that's the same thing as being like, I'm not touching her, I'm not touching her. It's like, no, you're not, but fucking stop it. I, yeah, but I, I would argue that that isn't a deception either. I would, deception for me at it's this table is that. you are saying, yeah, yeah I, I get you, but, but to, to, to qualify as a deception, you have got to be saying something that is factually, absolutely incorrect. Okay. I would say little white lies would also go under that, but something like this, he's going to do work. You did send him to go do work. You're just not being forthright. Specific. You're not being specific, and that's going to be a persuasion versus a deception. The for me. Lord. It's still an insight to figure out what what she's withholding, but that's that's just where it's at. What what did you get? Well, give me one second. Oh, yeah. Turn your mic down or tilt it down. Not that much. What are you doing? Not that much. Right, we'll split the difference uh, on that. Split the difference. Not great. There. I'm gonna be honest. Okay, hold on to that. JB. Uh, Inside. Ocho, senor. Ocho. 14. Babadoo's 14. Did you roll? No. 13. 13, 14, Ocho? 7. Yeah! <laughs> All of you, like, so now just walking, I was like, I sent him to do work. <laughs> <laughs> Becomes very interested in belt holding Yeah, the like, yeah, yeah. What sort of work would that be, Sino? You know, just spread and laugh and love the good word. Of the Lord? You send him on a religious sort of quest. I said to go make friends. Yeah, see that, and you claimed that being as your friend. What is, can I ask, yeah. Sano, can I ask you a question? Um, when you say go make friends, that that person, pre human, or whatever they Don't are. Don't think they are anymore. Yeah. Um, well, the way we saw them yesterday following the boat was, a different, a way different being than what we saw Don't pre, uh, uh, with Bunny Colt. What, what happened? I, I, I just talked to him, and you know, said if he 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 just wanted to die. I said, you know, you could just like open your heart to the Lord and and really mean it, and so he did. And he told me yesterday that it was like he was born again. So maybe when you're born again, you change a little bit, you know? You made him born again? I didn't do anything. I just talked to him. And you didn't see any change happen? What do you mean? You didn't see any well, clear. Ch- clearly, he lost all of his hair uh-huh. and became like the sheep that he was around. Did that happen during your conversation? It happened after. It happened after? Yeah, after he prayed you were, to God. You were present for it, though. Yeah. What did that look like? Just like light. Really beautiful light. Uh, okay. Now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> uh, as you're making your way, you essentially, throughout this conversation, have arrived at the doors. I'm arrived. I've the arrived. Open door. I'm arriving! <laughs> <laughs> Aloysius, get the towel. <laughs> My socks, Elements! <laughs> I'm arriving! Not the two! Oh, oh my god! I, I want, before I even play the next song, I just want you all to know that the, the way Harim has been received by you, by you guys, has, has warmed my heart in a way that I was not expecting, so thank you. It's just. I hate his god! There's so much heinous shit and like in, in an awesome way yeah. happening in this world that this like really intensely like Large. hype yeah. and over larger than life oh, hippo man he's my favorite. just it just it tickles you when you you're not expect, <laughs> it, it, it like, tickles me what I'm not expecting. I, I find myself thinking about Harim or like Harimisms outside of Bob. Because <laughs> like, it is like anything that someone says, I'm like, you know who would have said that better than you? Harim. Harim eloquent Harim. Okay. God. You have found yourself <laughs> at the open so wooden exciting. doors of Sulavara. You are immediately aware upon arrival that this is an old town, both in construction and atmosphere. 
Uh, if I was going to describe it sort of sensorially, it's similar to some of the oldest quarters of like Edinburgh or Oxford, oh. though sort of art itself is is both much smaller and much simpler than either of those real world places. Okay. The sound, because there, there, there are people milling about through this town, even just immediately from standing at the gates of this town, uh, you can see two people immediately, or two kinds of people immediately. There are humans, mm -hmm. not just mortals in general, but specifically humans and Adelven, wood elves, mm -hmm. existing in harmony here in Sulabara. The sound of their, them like walking over all the cobblestones that this town is uh, made out of should be fairly all-encompassing, given these large wooden walls around everything. And yet, just on the other side of this town, the encroaching, looming, tall forests of the heart wild seem to absorb all the sharper points of sound and noise that are made here. As a result, Solovara is almost completely blanketed in quiet, along with an unwarranted, almost unnerving peace. This barrier wall that you've just passed through, it forms about a three-quarter semicircle around the town, ending at the banks of the Gilanaris River that sort of bisect it. Um, it's all made of these conjoining stakes of ancient iron bark that are sharpened to fairly severe points. It's about 12 foot high all the way around, and the wood was clearly once polished. Iron bark is a very important wood to uh, many Elven, not just Elven. Uh, however, this town has been here for centuries, so whipping winds for hundreds of years have thrown grains of sand and river spray against the bark, turning it pretty ubiquitously stark and coarse, much like the people who live here. So where you are, just through these imposing iron bark gates, directly across the town, you can see straight across through the main thoroughfare, which leads straight to the main feature, the reason the town was built, the Vir en Asal. It's an ancient magical bridge constructed from pure silver and once gleaming lapis, sitting squarely at the northernmost and centermost part of the town. For my law hounds out there, Vir en Asal directly means, in common, the path to relief. And it is the one and only crossing point from not only the mortal states, but the entirety of the prime into the Vensar. Path to the bathroom. The Vensar is not the bathroom. Uh, this bridge, this was the reason Sulavara was built, and it has existed since long before mortal kind could agree long enough for it to become collective states. And to date, the bridge and the town at large stand as the one cooperative effort between the organized Elvenan and mortal kind in anybody's living memory. There are a few other landmark buildings right on the, uh, the eastern edge of the town. There is a, a, a squat sort of, how did I describe it? Yeah, it's just this squat stone building that is mm, pretty clearly a jail. Um, e old jail. It, I've spelled it old G-A-O-L, yeah. so yes. That's where Alice belongs. Um, Immediately uh, perpendicular to that on the south side. It's going to get crazy in here. I can't um, wait. Perpendicular. <laughs> if, if I'm keeping a uh, record correctly, mm -hmm. Alice hasn't done anything crazy. Yeah, this hasn't strange. done anything to you. <laughs> yeah. For once, baby, we do it for once. <laughs> you don't see what I see. One of us has blasphemed know, the god today, and it wasn't Alice. While we're paused, Alice and Bubbles both have blessings of Halifax. On God! What does that take us to? Well, that's, a, that's a new six for Dan. What does it take us to? Uh, that takes us to 12. I almost choked. There have been 10 that have been used, 12. Not that close, not that, just back up a little. Somebody want to redeem one more? Uh, Please don't. Whoa, 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 hold on. Wait, uh, time out. Don't do I it. think I think we'd all be re- So we've got the- that's fine, she does. The she does old jail. Yeah. I like perpendicular to the... Uh, oh my god. <laughs> Great. So now if you have a blessing of Halloween. Uh, That's a 13, baby. Perpendicular to the uh, to the jail. Uh, almost if, if the jail is at 3 o'clock, this next building, it's almost like a church-like building with a bell tower. Um, bell tower. That you, you, and you would recognize as a consulate of the mortal states. It's like a, a governmental building. It's one in almost every major town. Uh, that there's a consulate there. There are clearly some other buildings, all very sort of Tudor in style. Lots of like uh, hay hatched roofs. 
in that sort of white paint with the, the wood beams cross-hatching everything. So clearly things that are shops, um, something that looks maybe like a bar or an inn, but it's a very stark uh, town. Almost looks like this was, should be like a military fort or an encampment of some kind, but there just happens to be a town living in these walls. And as you're just standing here, three things I will point out to you as a group. There is a large vanguard presence in this town. Lots more of those vanguard half-cloaked knights that you saw outside, and a number of what they're about. 10 feet tall, easily five feet wide, completely clad in golden armor with purple uh, cloaks, and full plate face marks, masks that almost look like um, death masks that you put on, put on traditional medieval coffins. These are the solar born. They are no joke, and they are clanking around the city in various patrols. By the old jail, in front of the old jail, rather, there is a sizable construct. Um, this, it's about mm, easy, probably, I'm going to say, say a casual 15 feet tall. Um, this made of this wrought dark metal uh, with a chest that looks like this huge lantern cage with crackling, slow-moving green flame. Uh, spilling out of it, just standing guard with a huge blade planted into the stone right in front of the jail. That's one. And t that's one and two. Oh, that's one. Solarborn construct, mm -hmm. and as you're standing there looking across to the bridge, somewhere on the wind you hear <laughs> and out from behind the building is this little hobbled old elven man pulling an oversized covered wagon and he just stops right in front of the bridge. We recognize this man from the desert. He looks. Mm. And that's what we'll take our break. Ah! Quick fourth rule break. Quick, quick fourth rule break. We clocked it. Uh, we clocked yeah. it. See you in like 15 Terrible. minutes. Terrible. We hate it. I'm ready. Oh, we'll be nice. right back. Goodbye. Do I know him? <laughs> no. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Bards of New York. The live, chaotic, beautiful mess that we all know and love, where we usually, at one point, will play D&D together. We'll be starting to play D&D at some point soon, and then probably stop, then start again, and then stop, <laughs> and then giggle, and I'll fart a bunch, and then we'll have a good time. <laughs> Why even do the stream? <laughs> I, I, you're, you're hitting the nail too hard on the head, man. <laughs> Come for the D&D, but stay for the absolute chaos that is Barcelona New York. I love you. Shifted or found a leather glove and Michael Jackson. I don't, I don't, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> Powered he he. Instead of Misty Step, it's Moonwalk. <laughs> no attacks of opportunity. Yeah, no, it's kind of Elvis Blast because exclusively by cutting When you catch shielding yourself, it's not a shield. You just kind of lean over like this <laughs> much. <laughs> also, there's the whole aspect of that miasma. Do you have an inhaler for that? Yeah, do you have oh, you beat me to it by just one second. I mean, I, I used to, as a child, had some uh, asthma, but I've grown out of it since. Me asthma. Yar. Fuck you. <laughs> oh, pirate ventilator, then. <laughs> Made out of wood, ah. I lost my albuterol. <laughs> Beekeeper, rescue inhaler in my book. Ah, tis less effective than me old steroid. Can't do a New York accent. Just try your best. Come on. You somebody, know. you know, say bagels and schmear. Bagels and schmear. You know, somebody. I didn't realize there was a New York over there. Uh, <laughs> no, mine. From Old York, yeah. Say, hey, I'm walking here. Hey, I'm walking here. All right, you know, I'm just. It's you know, immediate. <laughs> It's immediately back. I'm Stop having, I'm having it. all kinds of trouble, and. <laughs> Now you sound like a British person trying to do an American accent. Yeah, like, you're like, oh, dude. How dare you? I just did. I How dare you? What do you want to do with my crew? I have a lot of benefits, but zero work. What do you even do? We got somebody who does a lot of fart noises. We got somebody who likes to, you know, steal babies. And it's kind of in between those two things. Really? That's the range. Really? That's the range? <laughs> hey! I think a creative coordinator, a creative director position would be really great because Jesus Christ, that's... <laughs> that's horrific. You're beautiful and capable of great things. Like murder. Don't do that, though. Unless it's completely necessary. Anyway, bye.
to me, you have always been the brightest star. There's a couple that are harvest flavored. They say it's more of a savory sweet almost. Like it has a very almost like umami sort of sense to it. It's uh, umami. Y'all. <laughs> Excellent work. Excellent work. It was ubiquitous and it made me upset. <laughs> I just wanted to buy pastries. Pentagonal. 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 You'll be pentagon. Pentagonal. Pentagonal. Diagonally. Somebody called Pentagon. Pentagonally. Pentagonagonally. Get the fuck out of here. Pentagony. <laughs> what do you do? You smell burning toast? Always. Pentagonal. Pentagussy. Pentades. So feeble. I let's stop being so mean uh, to women. <laughs> no, 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 no. Was, if I may it was, support you. It was a really valiant attempt. Uh, how, what, how many sides does that thing have? What's, say that again. Pentagonal. Pentagaggle on these nuts. <laughs> <laughs>
So the mechanic where you make choices as your character that then affects the world at large. To me, there's no better version of that than D&D, where not only do you get to escape to a world and make choices within it as a character entirely your own, that then your own choices are a catalyst for an evolution of the world that evolves with you, but you get to do that with other people. So it's not just a pre-thought out, I'm going to make these choices to make these things happen. It's a group of people all that you can have banter with and laugh with, but at the end of the day, you are exploring a world for the first time together as a group, making these little chaotic decisions which bloom across the world, causing it to change with you and grow with you as your characters level up and grow. What brings me back to D&D over and over and over again is like assisting in the growth and the blossoming of a world that will be cultivated by accident through a ragtag group of adventurers actions.
Hi everyone, welcome back. If you just tuned in, what happened there? I tried to open it and it just went. It's just like. It's like a, it's like a wet baby fart. Ew. Weak, bro. That's not weak. to you. To you, maybe. Not to you. Yeah, don't don't open that kind of one. Never mind. Um, <laughs> turn this car around. Uh, hi, folks. James. <laughs> welcome back. It was James Bond. We are. Back in the saddle. We're back uh, in on the on in the outskirts of Solovara. Before we get too distracted with our uh, squeaky wooden visitor here, <laughs> the other building that I did not describe. Uh, where is my where are my fucking notes, bro? Uh, as the jail is on the eastern wall of the town, the other if you you can't not see it on the western wall. If the river is back here. Sla mm -hmm. on the side of the river that's closer to you, because none of the town is across the river, right? Mm -hmm. Essentially, the town ends at the bridge. Mm. On the western side of the town, uh, there is a sort of very like flat, almost bungalow-style dinky building made of old rain-stained stones um, that you can see the uh, like copper and steel railway of the train station veering out into the desert, leading into that building. That is clearly the train station here on the western side of town. It's only got one platform, because there's only one rail line that comes in and out, and you can see the back few cars of the train there. There's clearly some work being done on the train now, um, but that's where it is. That's uh, for, for your pertinent information. But other than that, I have now described Solovara mostly to you. And of course, across the way, right dead on by the bridge, being completely ignored by citizens and solar born alike. Uh, cool. Let's pretend like we don't see it. Oh, you uh, you wearing this? Oh yeah. Uh, Blinded by the light. You take four points of radiant damage wow. because you cannot actually look at him with those glasses on. Right. What? He is. It, it is physically <gasps> blinding for you to look at. Perhaps in God's true forms. If I see God's true forms. I was thinking. Um, Massive like, so like it's it's different types of magical power, and I think whatever that one is, it ain't fucking good. It's A rank. <laughs> bubbles, bubbles, very quickly takes some up. Fuck. S rank. What? Did you look at the sun? Haven't we seen that guy before? Oh yes. He's from the desert. Look at him. He's oh. goggling down some googles. He seems to know. He's just. Undoing the the top from around his uh, around his wagon, he sort of wafts the top over it a couple times. One that looks like as the the top goes over it and pulls back, there looks to be some bubbling cauldron sitting there. Two, it pulls back and it seems to be almost like a like a rack with a skeleton strapped to it. Three, the closed cupboard, taller than he is, sitting on the back of the cart, and that's where he sort of whips the top around him and huddles in it. And he just sort of nestles, leans back on the on the wooden cupboard. He's not gonna. He's gonna just sit there. It's up to you as to whether you're gonna engage with him. Should we say hi? We have seen him before. What? He gave us some really interesting cryptic messages, and then tried to sell something to Alice, didn't he? I think he gave us all gunk. Oh yeah, it was delicious. Unfortunately, yes. Well, I mean, he might give it to us for free again, and that's free food. I just have, I suppose I have some business I want to see at the bridge, and he's in the way. I just want water and some food. I don't want to make new friends today. Yeah, that, it tends to not be up to you when you're traveling with these Not people. new. You hear as if he was standing next to you. No. <gasps> My head is. It's a shit hangover. <laughs> <laughs> You're hearing voices again, <laughs> Lenore. I'm having heat Sun stroke. <laughs> I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll sigh and then start wandering over. My intrusive thoughts are gone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this, are you all going to walk over or is it just Davis? I'll come too. I want to say hi and maybe get some more of that stew because then I don't have to pay for food. I will right. come for protection. I will be six feet behind Sonoma. As you guys walk closer, he unlatches the the cupboard 
opens it up to all those different poultices and potions latched onto the inside of the walls. Seems like the inside of the cupboard goes has like a, a deeper set of shelves than it should. Um, catching your eye in the light, one of them on the, the, the open outside doors seems to not have any liquid in it at all, but three green-black mottled stones in a jar. Familiar stones, perhaps. <gasps> As he welcomes you. Hello, travelers. It hasn't been too long, has it? And also hours and hours and hours. What brings you here? What brings me here? Yeah, that's a great question. Well, are you going to answer it? I'll answer our part if you answer your part first. They're both your parts. Oh, really? Of course. You're here to sell us something? Thirteen knocks, rap, 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 rapping on my door. I come when I am called. Why did you? Uh, well, we're here to do a job. Maybe you're here to help us accomplish that job? Oh, yes. Two jobs, all the same, two different ends. Where will it go? How fast will it run? And who will keep the stone? Curious. I think what? The, the train goes pretty fast. Does it? I don't know. What are the stones? I mean, the one I was on. Which? The one Yours or mine? How, how much for those green stones? These? Yeah. Takes them off. Rattles it a little bit. Oh. You are ready for these now. You weren't before. Why why is this old man looking at me? I don't know. He's he's a little Part strange. of you has come a very long way. Have you been there yet? I'm so sorry, I, Rachel, didn't hear the first part of what part you said. Part of you has come a very long way. Have you been there yet? Or are they just teasing you? Have you seen the prime from above as they do? We share a seat, you know. Seats at the same table. He is speaking in a language that... Uh, what do you speak? What do you speak? I speak common, and I think dwarvish. Okay. Common, elven, scar, and celestial, orcish. You hear it. Celestial, common, deep speech, penguin, koala. You hear it. Uh, common, elvish, druidic. You do not hear it. So we share a seat. So, so, so. Is that what you said the last? Hmm? We share a seat. We share seats at the mm. same table. <sighs> not very good at sharing anymore. No. But you are being shared. These, what would you give for them? Perhaps a success? What are they? You know what these are. I see them wriggling in you. Pieces of potential. Of the past. Is it more murmur? Or a cocoa Or a Or a Oh, no. Did you guys eat rocks? Yes. Eat rocks, I man! Would, there are three here. Oh, I would take three successes from you. Success. Three successes. pieces of winnings. Yes. Three oh. moments of achievement yet to come. Well, I've never failed at anything in my life, so I feel like if I gave you one, I'd either do something for the first time ever, or... It wouldn't matter, and I'd still succeed. I like you. <laughs> you said that before. I still do. And yet you've grown. <clears throat> piece by piece. Thought by thought. He looks over towards the jail. Maybe more to learn. The jail? A success. Who takes? Where did Saul go, guys? I can, I, I'll give a success if anybody else wants to. Snow. 
Uh, I'll do it if I get to keep the Orichalcum. I don't, I don't have the right to give you advice. I'm sorry, I didn't, I shouldn't have said anything. I think, I th- I, not, not to be, not to be greedy, but I think if we had another Orichalcum, we could use it on my goggles. There are three. Yeah, there's not just one, there's three. But that would mean nine things. Right? One per one. Oh, I was confused. I thought you meant three per one. No. Oh. It seems like a hot Three thing. successes for three stones. A fair trade, a good bargain, travelers. Do you think... I'll, I, no offense, I'll be the one dissenting opinion. It's it's a no for me. Why? Smart man. I do not like a good deal. I did say no offense. I'm I'm very sorry. Uh, I didn't. You are a uh, proprietor. Uh, I prefer uh, stores that take currency. This is currency. The first and only one. Everything else came later, when those who tried could not touch what was there. Do so I? Am I Will? Yeah. Totally. You are Will now? Am I Will? Uh, am I Will? <laughs> <laughs> My god, look at me. Uh, that's a <laughs> <laughs> Ten years and that's it? <laughs> Ten? Okay, yeah. Speak on it. You Go for it. Like Take Michael it, damn. <laughs> Michael Caine. The first page or the last page. Um, okay. Michael Caine just sounds like he has a stuffy nose. Uh, I am a question for you. It's, yeah. Do you want do you, do you think there is a world in which I could roll something to understand if these things that we're giving him are, and let me know if they're this successes. is. They're they're. Hold, hold on. Could yeah. Be a no, 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 no. Mm. I guarantee you, it's oh, when. It's when no, 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 no. I think it's. I think it's him saying. Uh, you wanna? I wanna. The answer is it, no. You will not know because you are not. You are, you are merely a penguin. Right, right. We are all merely adventurers. That's true. You, there is no way for you to cleanly glean what you right. are offering. Yeah. But is it, is it, oh. It, it, but no, I think what he means is it's, it's, it's us giving him things that we've been successful at in our yeah. life and he I takes them away. I said yet to away. come. For future. Yet to come. Future. Success is yet to come. I think it, at any oh. given time. At some time, time at you're s- going to roll, you're going to succeed, and he's going to say, actually, no. no. I thought it was, hey, here's successes you've had in your life. I'm going to take them away from your memory. It's the no. opposite of that. No. The I opposite would of that. Oh. Rather that. <laughs> I would not rather that. Um, I would rather that because I don't want to know what Halifax will take in the future. Uh, yeah. oh, it's not going to be an opportunity that's, moment. That's very different. I'm here to play the game of Survivor. And that's very different. I would like one. I will I will offer a success. Uh, one success from the lost one. Who I'm, I'm with Blue Boy. You can have one of mine. One from the light. Um, and you? Of course. Child of many? Father of none, mother of none. <gasps> of course. Child of none, mother of none. Step forward. <sighs> the sound of the river is all that you can hear. The town is quiet, the forest is quiet, footsteps on stone have gone to nothing, and all. Wait, but I'm, I, I thought I made a river sound. Where is my. You worked so hard on I it. I worked so hard on it. <laughs> no, I've got. Gurgle, gurgle, gurgle. You don't like my river sound? That sounds like a suction tube. There was a river sound that sounded like chewing. <laughs> hey, can we? That's nice and quiet. We step yeah. back. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> so pump it a little more. A little lower. Let me just try it with the music. The sound of the river. Is all that you Someone hear. cut it. Someone just slice it together. <laughs> Nothing. Um, step forward. You do so. Yeah. He just he drops the flask, but it doesn't move. It just stays there. Love. Cool. Who is first? You want to go? Okay, I'll go. Where is your mark? Your sigil? I think so. Wait, which which hand is it on you? Left. Then I'm on the right. I'm. Open your palm. 
He takes one of his long, spindly fingers and presses his dirty little fingernail right into the center of your palm. There is a shock of cold that runs through your nerves, and a little steam smoke emits from your hand as he pulls it away. There is just a jagged fingerprint in your palm. Where are my fucking notes? <laughs> no, no. JB is smoking one of his uh, rolled uh, Let me cigarettes tell you. again. A great, a so great album by Ananas Morissette. Jagged, is dirty fingerprint. Really bad. Uh, one it's second. Just, it's herbs. Alanis Morissette. Uh, okay, so that's your what palm? Right. Fuck. I grew, up, I grew up on a mount, near a mountain, and they had. Different okay, uh, it, you, there's just this clean. chill through you for a moment, and then it fades, shudders down your back like a little worm wriggling through you, and then it's gone. One of the pieces of stone sort of cartoon pops its way through the, the flask and just tumbles into your hand. Who is next? Where's yours? Alanis Morissette. I think mine is in my left hand. Hand. My left flipper, if you will. Inside or, or outside? Uh, oh. I wrote it down. And I don't know where it is. I'll say the inside. I think it's so inside. Inside, sir? Yeah. Give me the back of your flipper. The back of your flipper. <laughs> the sizzling feeling. Ooh. I'd like more. Oh. <laughs> I haven't tasted that in such a long time. <laughs> the stone flows towards you. So wait, that's left, back of left hand for you, for you Bubbles. Mm -hmm. Back of left. Back of left hand. Flipper. Let's see, where did I put it? And yours is going to be... Alice, left palm. Correct. Alice saw for all them. What's all, bro? Saw. It's actually my real name. <laughs> you don't even know. <laughs> oh, a dear friend. And so many new ones. Let me watch you eat them. Above table, question. Yeah? If I use one now, do I have to spend it now? Because I don't want to. Uh, yeah. Hmm. He wants Wait, to watch you, you eat them. You don't want it? I don't want to say that. If you pump it, you have to use it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I don't he want wants to that. He, he, want, want, he wants you to, he wants to watch you use them. We, we oh, don't know what we'll get, do, right? I yeah, can't yeah, you so can I know you're cool. I can't use oh, them on my goggles. Oh, we just get more of what's on you can, here? You can pump another upgrade. Hold up, hold up. It's like a fucking drug dealer. I wouldn't have done it if I couldn't use it on the goggles. He didn't say where to use them. I thought I could. Boof it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I thought I couldn't use it. Okay, well, okay. He, you, he's, not, he's not forcing you to. I'll do but it. he asked. I'll eat it. Good. Although I kind of want this shit. So now takes the Orichalcum without breaking eye contact with the Halifax, who she doesn't know is Halifax, and... Yeah. As you sort of drop it in, there's a... <laughs> this sort of like shock, almost like that Sauron eye touching the ring. This face, this listless, wriggling, pale, pallid chunk of flesh with a carved, like, two mouths slit into it that just shocks its way into you, shuddering up your arm, that your, your sigil itself prickles. Your max hit points are reduced permanently by ten. But you get two upgrades. Oh. Okay. I'm choosing Slipstream, for sure. Nice. Rachel said that. I, Lenore strongly disagrees with this. <laughs> um, and uh, Dominant Fortitude, which is the second upgrade mm -hmm. to Word of Truth. Yep, yep, yep. And I will reduce my maximum HP. 
Oh, oh. That's a bummer. It's not great. Hey, Bubbles, do you have HP to give? So That's much great. time. Anything? Anything? Told you guys not to eat rocks. Is it? Oh. Are you? I'm saving it for a rainy day. Mm. I don't know what you're talking about. Field so great. rations, I suppose. And you? Well, Last one? If you can help me put it into my goggles, then I'll do it for you. I need more. What do you mean? What do you have to give? I've already given you something. And you're asking for something else? Well, it is business. Yes, Cloudna? Or are you not strong enough? What do you mean? Do you not have enough to go around? So weak of spirit and power, there is not enough to carve and give to but a lowly trader. I would make them glorious for you, but I would need more. It's so interesting about table, the difference in how Woody <laughs> and will. Anyway, I think it's fun. <laughs> Woody's a crackhead. Yeah, where Woody's a crackhead. Like, Will's Woody, terrifying. Will's Woody terrifying. offers jackpots <laughs> with, like, possible bad things that could happen. Will is offering, you will get this. A bad thing will happen. A bad thing will happen. Yeah. yeah. Equilibrium. So, <laughs> yeah, that's the difference. <laughs> I'm just chilling with JB. We're watching uh, our um, people make bad choices. He respects somebody who knows that business. <laughs> I, I, I'll give you. I'll give you another. If you can help with these goggles, I'll give you another. I'll give you another. More. What? More. I'll give you another. I chance. need the needle. The thread, that space between, I want it narrowed. I don't understand. Do you like gambling? I have once been known to gamble. I would like your blinds to get much smaller, just once. And I will make those better than they ever were. Everybody else other than Bubbles, roll me a perception check. I'm smoking. Get above a 10? Anybody get above yeah. a 10? Everything outside of the river and this group of people is no longer moving. You can see, you Bubbles, can see Halifax's eyes start to divide like cells in mitosis. I'll make you a deal. Speak. But it is a deal that you must help me with. I have the ability to change the outcome of something. A strong ability indeed. I will let you choose once that role sorry uh, that no, outcome no 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 for your goggles when you are on the threshold slipping in between three is one <gasps> that is the trade I will barter <clears throat> death saves. Translate. Instead of three death saves, you get one death save. Not forever. The, Just next, the next time. time. Oh, I love that. That's spicy. Do it. Cut. I kind of, I kind of, I kind of do love that it's too. It's spicy. Um, I like that we got this. We are wait. I, sorry, I didn't understand that at all. Is that what you mean? Including also on top of the thing I already gave you? No, no, no. The 
The memory's already gone. Or the success is already gone. That's already gone. It's already this, gone. This is already... to fix the goggles. Oh, I don't want them fixed. Uh, but he will do. He will fix them and. Do 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 Thanks, Jeff. Uh, so three death saves. Do 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 do. Think about the roll. Think about the roll. <laughs> the, the chat is in. Is could, he, could, <laughs> could he could he fail that single wait, roll wait, wait, on purpose? Wait, wait. Absolutely. Above table. I'm, yeah, I'm back because I have because I have to I have to do my duty. We are too low of a level to be able to reliably revive a PC. Sonova has never failed at you anything in her life. You don't have third level spells right now. Today. And we're about yeah. to go on a fucking train heist Today with crazy folks. Today I don't, but, but, but tomorrow I, I have will. the power of God and anime on my side. <laughs> yeah, we got, we got loads of dudes who can fuck hey, people up. Hey, looking for four more dudes. <laughs> that's true. I normally have revivify, but... Um, the Penguin of Christ isn't coming. I'm also in trouble a lot. We should check the jail. I think the soul might have gotten arrested. I don't think... No, no, I, sorry. That's what I, I think Saul do. might have done something, and the remnants of the action may be the. Person. I said, make friends, be gay, do crime. We should, we should. I will, I will, I will do that if you also you make them better than what I want them to be. I already told you. And you give me another vial. You better roll me a pers- uh, persuasion check with disadvantage. Yeah. Frog speed Spider-Man. You got it, you got it, you got it. And every time we touch again. You are the mom. You're trying to say you're the mom character. Just 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 like, what? Why are you doing this? He's, 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 I'm only gonna. Let's see it. Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> we turned JB into a chain smoker. Yeah. What'd you get? He doesn't drink, but he's about What'd to. What'd you get? An eight. An eight? Oh, hold on. That's pretty great. That's pretty great. Uh, that's 12. What did you just roll? He just rolled a Blessing of Halifax on that, by the way. You just rolled a Blessing of Halifax against Halifax? I already did it. What did you roll on the Blessing? Even a four. A four? Cool. <laughs> I, I, love I, bet it, I bet we just oh, added That's a natural Benedict. fucking 20. <gasps> he is in the house with us. He is in the house My with Lord. us. My <laughs> Lord. My Lord. <laughs> Forget if you can hear me, give me a sign. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Anything breaking uh, down, I'm going to Halley, baby. He, you just hear the sound like... And you can see his skin just stretch. His neck, his arms, his legs, he just hunches over a little bit. I have offered, traveler. Take or be taken. Levels, I don't want to freak you out, but people are frozen outside. I think you should either take this deal or go. Fine. Deal. Yes. He just still a little stretched. Wait, wait, wait. Can I ask a question about table? No. How how long does that last for? Until it happens. Oh, so till I die. Yeah. Until, no, no, no. Until, 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 until the next until time you are saves. rolling death saves. Once that, in, once you are up again or dead, this will no longer apply. Oh, okay. Okay. Cool. Sorry. We just okay. gotta. We gotta be. We gotta be locked the fuck in. And the first time bubbles goes down. I hope I have third level spells. <laughs> wait, wait. If we, if we just have a heal, something. Hopefully you're there. Hopefully I'm there. Sometimes I might never use that remove of ice stone. Give me your <gasps> sigil. Hopefully you can in the moment. My sigil. Give me your sigil. Okay, you take your goddamn flipper, Dan. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> His f- <laughs> Your goddamn flipper, Dan. <laughs> Get your fins in the game. <laughs> um, I'm so coached right now. <laughs> <laughs> If you flip around, his fingers just like salad fingers their way. Well, salad fingers. And you feel them part the skin of your flipper and physically enter the sp- magical space of the flip of the sigil. Of the flipper. So if we remember, the sigil. <laughs> Not salad fingers. Where's my toy? Give me my pen. Give me my pen. Skippy beep. Skippy beep. Sigil looks like that. Skippy beep. Yes. 
The bug. I'm gonna have to draw one anyway because. <laughs> The boog. Oh, yeah. Wait, is, that's what the that's what the symbol looks like. Maybe. Yeah. I was gonna make, I was gonna make um, uh, merch with that. Yeah, uh, let's do it. But so I, just, I, I was like, sigil, I don't know where it is. sigil here. Yeah. So Your one changes as you can feel this aberrant flesh migrating into the magic of your sigil. Oh, oh man, oh. our sigil dad's not gonna be happy about that one. Our Uh-oh. sigil dad. <laughs> flesh. Aberrant flesh was uh, my it's nickname in like, high school. What the fuck? What the fuck? I do have any idea how long it took me to come up with that fucking thing. <laughs> and you're just gonna ruin it. The dog. Harim disappointed. <laughs> <laughs> That's vandalism of glorious scale. <laughs> you wouldn't steal a car. <laughs> <laughs> you wouldn't steal a computer. <laughs> Yours looks like this. Oh, stonks. Ooh. You got a grubby guy in that. Okay. Hungry. You got a grubby As guy. You can just <laughs> feel it like ridding the like almost magic skin of it apart. Have you ever let Jello sit in the fridge too long uncovered? And that thin, like weird gravy film skins its way on top. Yeah, like a high school pool. Yeah, it's like your peel it's like that is what your hand is made of, and Halifax is peeling it apart with wooden forks. Does it hurt? No, but it doesn't feel good. Ah. But then it... And as soon as his fingers snap back into place, as soon as his fingers snap back into place, you sort of recoil, all of you kind of forcibly recoil, and you're just back in the town, standing at the edge of the bridge. Is he gone? There, like there was nothing there to begin with. <laughs> Motherfucker. It's seven, seven, cat. No, <laughs> <laughs> Harim cause for kids. Harim. <laughs> should I should I erase those thirteen? Yes. Okay. Back at nothing. Oh. Me? No, no, the thirteen, the the, the blessing. Oh. Uh, so we've, we've used a total uh, of twenty-three. So so. Do I not have? I don't have a, a stone. Yeah, you do. I. Oh, sorry. You know sorry. You don't. you don't have your stone, and you don't have your goggles. I think you just got scammed. You didn't specify when you wanted them back. Yeah. We've learned something. That's great. <laughs> Jimmy, are we still? I'm sure he'll, he came back before. I'm sure we'll run into him again. <sighs> you two just out here chain smoking? That's not good for your lungs. It is a it's an herb uh, from my village. It is. It does not cloud too much. Does not stick too much to the walls of your lungs. It's. Do I know where they are? No. Call. I agree. It's like sea. Mm. They ain't here. And here is the capital H. They're getting cooked up somewhere else, baby. Um, does anybody need to do anything while we're here, or do we want to discuss how we're getting on the train? I want to firstly figure out, and I'm pointing across the bridge, are any of the, the I assume the guards there. So, yeah, basically halfway across the bridge, just before it would fully cross over the river, are stanced up two colossal solarborn. Full plate, mask on, one of them, hammer, made of just like glorious steel and bronze, head down on the ground, another one large glowing sword strapped to the back, just stanced up in the middle of the bridge. There are, I would say, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there are at least nine separate armored solarborn that you have seen in the town. I just want to ask them a couple of questions. Do you think that's a good idea? No, but I'm going to do it anyway. Are they your friends? No. Should we back you up? What are we doing? Why am I here? <laughs> what are we doing? I'll, I just, just, I'll, just, go, I'll just go. It's no, okay. No, JP, I love no, your it's presence. Fine. I just... I want to ask them if these were the folks patrolling those three days ago. What happened? Why do you care about the bridge? It's the bridge into... The hot wild. I'm not. I'm not very bright, but you. Those are people from the vanguard, or things from the vanguard. The, the vanguard 
directly does not like you, your people. Correct. And they sh- assuredly do not like Copper Legion. Perhaps. You are both. You are visibly both of those things. You want to see if you can cross the bridge? They are not. There is also a personal reason why I wish to try. Okay. Elf! From across the bridge. Yes! That was fast. State your purpose. I'm on Copper Legion business, but at the moment I wanted to ask you about an apparent inf- incident that occurred some days ago here. Any incidents within the confines of Sulavara are beyond your concerns. Furthermore, have you been inquisitioned? Have all of you been inquisitioned about the incident in the Harp Wilds? We just got here today, so no. The one with the hammer leaves the hammer there. Just walks down the bridge. Show your badges. I show my, I show my diadem of the Copper Legion. Uh-huh. Your badge. Bubbles just like isn't there. She's someone we've picked up along the way. Your badge. Bubbles, show your badge. Just fully is not present in the moment. He the badge is, is the thing sorry, on his chest. Sorry, my, my familiar is a little uh, confused right now. We had a long long night in the desert. Persuasion. Uh, deception. 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 Ooh. I'm so sorry. Oh. I'm going to use my inspiration. But we okay. do have a long night in the desert. It's technically not enough. But not a familiar. Uh, deception. 15. 15. Is this magically sanctioned? Yeah, of course it is. Logged with the exact show name. It's logged with the Copper Legion? Fine. Badge. It's internal. <laughs> it clanks. The, the, the pallid eyes of the mask glow gold. Indeed. You're Copper Legion. The copper shed? Outside of our immediate jurisdiction, but not outside of the law. Are you aware of what took place within the Hot Wilds only a week ago? That no. is what we are inquiring about. I haven't been. You were inquiring so about the incident on the bridge, which is only Vanguard concern. This concerns me more. Also, I there's two things. I haven't been home in some time. I would not recommend returning. Why? It is in shambles. <gasps> Why? There was an event. Like Coachella? An internal event. I speak in Elvish. I, does this concern Do not speak in foul tongues. <laughs> why would it, Why would it speak in foul well, is this dude human? He's in full computer. Oh, so couldn't we can't tell. tell. Yeah. Okay. Um, They're not Elvish. The Vanguard are not Elvish. Uh, None of them. They are anti-Elvish. We are patrolling Sulavara in case any excursions from the Hot Wilds are attempt to be made in wrongful recompense. There was a purge. A generation lost. Where? It is our firm suspicion that it came from within the walls of Uthevenan, not from an external source. A generation? A generation lost. What do you mean? We are still unclear on many of the details. It is why we are here. I ask again, what business did the Legion send you on? Are you headed into the wood? We are not. Keep it that way. Stray from the bridge. Keep to yourselves, Legionnaires, or you will have the Solarborn to contend with. I nod and turn. If you seek any other questions, where are my notes? They're in the wrong place. The wrong, I have to go to fucking... I have to go to my Discord chat with Woody, believe it or not, for my <laughs> notes here. Just so you know, I'm casting Cure Wounds on myself at first level since I didn't get a long rest. In, in front like of everyone. the Don't. No, 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 not right now. Oh my God. 
Okay. I meant to do it before this conversation started. I just wanted you guys to know so I could mark off the spell. Uh, bu- 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 <laughs> guys, be cool! <laughs> I'm so cool. I just I meant to do it before Ayla started doing this. Jamie oh, is a single mom who loves her job. <laughs> Has three kids. Uh, blah blah. Hang on. Talk amongst yourselves. There, are, I have to look up something about the um. Uh, ba, 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 ba. Who is the guy? Who? Is oh yes. If you seek any further questions, head to the jail and discuss with Inquisitor Gaius. That's very helpful. Thank you very much. The card seller also mentioned the jail, if I remember correctly. Hey, let's are you breathing? Yes. Do you want to go investigate? Sure, let's go to the jail. I I believe what our friend was mentioning sits in front of it, however. What? The furnace, the fire bearer, the torch wielder, whatever it's called. The Oh, the thing in the door. The solar board? Yeah. The, the construct? The construct. The construct. The torch bearer is, is standing right in front of the jail. We should not go to the jail. We can uh, just like walk by, you know, like. What's going on? It doesn't speak. Did you lose the ability to speak? Are you now just a penguin? There's a gl- goggles why he could talk to you? Oh my God, maybe it is. It doesn't speak. I think it was the goggles. Well, when they come back, he'll be able to speak. Do you? A way to transport your familiar? I mean, I think you can still walk unless you want to be swaddled. Speak in the mind. <laughs> speak Bubbles. in the mind. Bubbles! <laughs> the chat room is open. <laughs> it's never the closed. Chat. Never I'm closed. not in the chat. You are not in the I'm chat, goddammit! I don't have the. You have a separate chat, chat, which you slandered last night. I. Don't even like just that chat. <laughs> logs <laughs> have leaked, logs have leaked. My it's, bad it's, a slack, it's a slack with your boss that yeah. has just a couple of It was yeah. a bad performance. You've got your boss's work for, phone and it's not good. Yeah. It's not good. The reception off. is bad. Go walk by the jail. <laughs> I say in the bloop. Let's go walk by the jail. Let's check it out. If we want to go in, we can. We don't have to. But then I really think we need to figure out how to get on this fucking train. Where is the train? It's station? Just yeah, it's directly uh, on the opposite side of town as the jail. You've got the the station here, jail, consulate here, a uh, couple shops, the inn. So it's it's not that the, this town is arguably smaller than Faleria is. It's like more of a village, honestly. What is the? Would I know the? Obviously, Vanguard don't give a fuck about Copper Legion. People in now, the town. People yeah. in the town. Does that carry weight? Copper Legion is going to carry weight anywhere in the mortal states, and technically, the Vanguard can't directly uh, penalize or, or arrest Legionnaires. I just mean they don't like them. The, and that would be why. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, but the, the Legion, like, showing the, the specific mottled copper ba- badge, so to speak, is going to carry weight with anyone who chooses to live in the states. We can, we can try and uh, talk to the... Uh, Torch bear? No. Oh. Okay. Gods. We can try to talk to the person who sells train tickets. Oh. And say like, hey, we are Copper Legion. We need to be. We need to have tickets for this train. That's a great idea. And and they will provide it. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I can I can go about doing that. If anyone wants to join me. This is all happening in your minds. I have, nope, JB is speaking out loud. <laughs> JB doesn't like the chat. Yeah, JB right. doesn't like the chat. <laughs> I've said it before, unless we are, like, if we're, like, sneaking around and need to, like, do something lower than a whisper, yes, but, um. I don't. So, uh, I don't think we should talk to the torchbearer. That is the first thing we learned, uh, when arriving here from, uh, uh, dinosaur lady. Did they say don't talk to or don't mess with? Avoid. Okay. I, I'm great at avoiding. We just we not know, look at them. We know. <laughs> we know so now. And yeah, I'm great <laughs> at everything I do. It's not changed a bit. Can I get a show of hands? Who's going to the old train station? 
He was going to talk to a talk to a trans translation translation. Where are you going? Who's I was going to go to the jail with Alice. Go to the jail. Do you want to I with? do want to go to the jail. Go to the jail. It's a terrible idea, but so I got to go. So the jail is being circuited by three Solarborn, and you've got the construct. Uh, out front. All right, let's, yeah, we'll, we'll carefully, we'll, we'll assess the situation before we go in. Okay. Okay. Like, princess, we can go. Cut right. myself, but are you talking to me? N- no, Alice is a She's princess. princess. <laughs> okay. Um, I <laughs> would like to... <laughs> uh, train, train, jail, jail. Jail, I'm going where Sonoma is. Jail, okay. Party break. Party, party break. Party split. No one, no one dies. No one died. No one died. So, split no up one search for clues. Saves. I'm you gonna start no going with the party. one. I'm going with the one person who couldn't. I'm gonna start over here. What? If I died, I would just say. None of us can. I right can now. medicine check and stabilize you. We're in the we're in broad daylight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What is this? If you're if somebody's gonna jump you here, they're gonna get jumped by nine Solarborn, and then the town's gone. So like we're, we'll be fine. Early. <laughs> the town's gone. Uh, as you guys are moving along, bubbles, your there are s- odd little flashing lights start to appear on your harness. Uh, and in a weird sequence. This is like whirling light on the lens. Starts building like a whirlpool of this sort of vibrant, your, your classic threads of green. Magic energy. I open up my spell book to try. Are you, and see, are you sitting on my shoulder? No, I'm walking. Have you ever traded a Pokemon on a Pokemon game? I've never played Pokemon. That should change. But sometimes in some of the games, it you send something into like this digital wormhole and you watch it travel through this tunnel and out through another spout on the other end. You are watching this network of like a, a wormhole web be formed in real time in front of you, out through your the your uh, arcane web here. This wormhole of light is formed, drops something out of it, and then closes. What drops? Uh, It is a set of goggles. The same jet black lenses, but the whole of it looks like it is made out of uh, this brilliant, beautiful, green, polished glass that you would know as temporite. Uh, I, I put it on. Great. Your goggles are back. Yes. Can you speak again? Oh, yes, I, you answered my question already. How do they look? Did the cartman spit shine them? What you can see through them, uh, I will, the thing that we've already talked about, and now they have perpetually detect magic up. <gasps> uh, and you can as an action, a number of times equal to your proficiency bonus per day, not as a ritual, cast identify. Fuck. It only cost you your death. <laughs> only cost your life. Uh, you see, you see bubbles. You're very like Put the goggles on, and just like yell out the most like guttural scream of both. Anger and joy like an and, and frustration. Hmm. But it, it's not a noise that you expect to hear out of a penguin. Nothing that you have done <laughs> is something I You speak real to. words. <laughs> that's, that's the threshold. No, that's meaning like, anyway. it, it's not like a It's like, it, 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 it's, it, it, like, like, it's just like a motion that expands over like different hmm. like sectors of what one scream could mean of both pure pain and pure relief put into one and then just takes I don't want to scream um of the what is it if that's two five the two solar born close to the, the train station Keep your pet in line. 
All right. <laughs> the eyes on the on the mask. It is just a it is just a fun game we play. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Deception. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the like deeper implications of like, that doesn't answer my main question <laughs> of like, can he talk? It's like, it's just a game we play. <laughs> yeah, that's still. <laughs> 13. How does hey. he. <sighs> One of them clanks up close, get, gets much closer. Stay back, Boris. Fuck you, Boris! <laughs> boom, boom. What brings you in this well-dressed pet <laughs> to Sidavara? Do you sell train tickets? Uh, <laughs> I'd like to. Presses, I'd like to. He get, presses a, uh, a button inside the sort of clavicle of his armor, and the <laughs> helmet retracts. He's he's like a at most nineteen-year-old kid. <laughs> he, he looked, you can see the veins sort of pop, like all th ridged throughout his head. He's shaved, got plugs sort of on the back of his head. Do I look like I sell tickets, mate? I'm a bloody solar ball. <laughs> I've not, I've not been here. I don't. I, hey, I, do, does, is this the equipment of somebody who is well suited to selling tickets to transit to and fro? Don't look. Bob, that. you can buy. Don't look. We are not me. designed to sell tickets. You heard the man. The, tra the train station's up the ramp and in there. We're just guarding the train. You're going to ask me after your pet speaks aloud, screeches, fit to beat the band. You're going to say, we sell tickets. Get out of it. I I love this man. I love this man. So, multiple things. Uh, is, the it, is it a crime mm. for a pet to make noise? <laughs> to... I agree. Why do you look... Do you, I, what? I, I'm still speaking. Thank you. <laughs> It goes red. <laughs> Nineteen year old. <laughs> why do you look down on the sellers of train tickets so much? Why could why could someone like you not be? I'm not you, looking. That you should be honored to sell train tickets. Uh, it is a great service. If I thought I was going to be honored by selling train tickets, I would have gotten into the bloody railway business. And my first point of order, I activate my helmet scanners, and he's looking bright as sunlight. He's riddled with magic. You're telling me he's a pet. He's a pet. That, that something else is going on there. Can I, can I ask you a question? You, he wouldn't stop you before. Did I tell you he was a pet? You said no. Well, you screamed at me after gauntlet, after right? my companion made sound, and now we are having this conversation. I did not want any trouble. I just wanted train ticket. Well, you go. No. Get your train ticket. Boris, keep an eye on them. I'm going to get the Inquisitor. And he starts walking away across town. Walking where, I wonder? He's, he's heading to the jail. Damn it. But he's left you guys alone. Boris is just like T-posing now. You have a one. Shut up, Boris. Do you sell train ticket? Get in the station. Oh. <laughs> okay, Boris. <laughs> I'll do what you say. That's such like a a sitcom like cap to the scene. Boom, boom, boom. Meanwhile, at the jail. <laughs> I, I, in my mind, to hear. You're literally exactly. Um, so just quick, do you head up the ramp <laughs> into this <laughs> sort of white flat building? Um, looks, this is a very simple train station. This is clearly, for those of you interested in the, uh, the economic of the copper railway, the, not the copper, the, the coalition railway, this is only a stop that is used on the, the full-on local line, so it doesn't get a lot of service. There's only really one train that's coming in here right now and then, so you've just got this one clock at the desk, sort of right in the immediate uh, space of the on-ramp, with a couple of gates that would then lead onto the platform. Just sitting there, small bearded halfling. Uh, hello. Welcome to the Sulavara Railway Station. Are you looking for transit? Train leaves later tonight. Yes, I am. Uh, I am a member, uh, along with my compatriot here, of the Copper Legion. Again? I'm sorry. There, we, we've we've gone through this once today. We get last night, I think it was. 
This is the first time you and I are speaking. Well, yes, I know that, but it, we've had... It, is there something going on with the railways that the Legion is interested in? Because this is the second group of people. Who is the first? Who is the... Uh, your name, Traveller. You did not ask me my name. Well, you... That what? is rude of you Ooh. to you both know, I, exclude I, me and outright include him I hit when <laughs> you clearly don't care about who we actually are. I'm, I apologize that I'm getting a little snippy. The guards outside have pissed me off. Oh, they're, it's, they're, they're quite like that, actually. They're, they're, they're good at getting under people's skin. It's part yes. of their training. You should do I well think. to not be like that. Okay. I didn't mean... I, I, you're, you're 100% right. I didn't mean anything by it. I am more accustomed to talking to somebody who looks humanoid than talking to somebody who looks like a penguin. And I therefore wanted to inquire about the talking penguin more than I wanted to inquire about the talking person but you are right I'm blue I -ba -da -ba -da. on the edge of the woods we see people in different <laughs> shades of uh, what, is, what is your tickets are 50 gold apiece we are copper legion tickets are 50 gold apiece we need tickets I, I understand that I, I do I would like to help you but if we just gave tickets out to every legionnaire and vanguard knight that came up to our booth, we'd lose money. And this is a huge part of the trade and transit system here in the States. So do you want us to just go defunct? Go bankrupt? Are Did you... you make the last Copper Legion people that walked up to you? Yes. Who... They paid in jewels. What did they, what did they look like? Yeah. This is 20. Natural Two? 20. Natural 20? As far yeah. as you can tell, That's they, they paid. What, what, oh, what, what did they paid they... in jewels? They paid in jewels. What did what? they? What did they look like? Okay. Well, there were five of them. Um, we had a very large. Uh, what well, must have been a turtle of sorts. We had a. What was he? A, a, a regular, regular person, bought with a staff. I'm trying to remember now. One of them had horns. One of them. Uh, Will doesn't remember. Yeah. Uh, one of the oh yeah, one of them was one of them northerners with three eyes, and uh, the other one was uh, a little difficult to look at. Couldn't quite make heads or tail of them, but they uh, was one of the cloak wearing, you know, cloak and dagger sort of types. That was that was a group of them. Uh, they came in uh, the legion business, uh, finishing up a uh, important, you know, hush hush. Secret, secret contract. And how is it you knew they were from the Copper Legion? Because they showed me their tokens. Their tokens? Yeah. Forged out of the, the fun, shiny copper. Uh, smaller, though. Smaller? Yeah. With this, the this symbol stamped on it. Did they get on the train? Yeah, they're, they're on there. Smaller like a coin? Yeah, it's about yay big. And not a part of something? No, no, no. But it had the logo, you know, the shields and the spears. Or you, the, so the you know what you know what this logo is. Yeah, You've seen every, it before. The Legion, yeah. Could you approximate it if you were to like, I don't know, fake a coin? Not, I'm not a metal worker. Well, I know you're not a metal worker. You sell tickets, and it's a noble I, profession. I, I, if I drew it, it would not look anywhere near as accurate as one of the coin. I don't know. I'm just telling you what I know. I'm doing my business. <laughs> Don't give this man a fucking stroke, guys! I'm <laughs> just paying minimum wage! <laughs> Wait, he's doing his best. On Labor Day week. Excuse me. <laughs> Where are they staying? They are, they're not, they're on the train! They are on the train yeah. now. Yeah! They're on the train now! Is the train there? Yeah! In my mind, the train was like, coming. No, the train arrived last night, stays in the station for the front and the back carriage to swap during the day. Got so it. it can then leave. Well, that's fun. Um, but everybody stays on the train. Well, they don't have to, but they're on the train. They have, I haven't seen them get off, and I work here all day. What if we just ran up next to it as it takes off? We just do, you know, in the movies, we just do some Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, you know. I, I didn't mean to offend, you know, no, just by just, asking. I just, I'm not just, used to. We went, we just threw, went through a lot. I screamed. I think he's upset. It's okay. It's, it's a tough day in town. I understand sure. that, but. My question is. Are you? Um, we just want to be able to get onto the train. We have we have other members with us. How many? Um, 
Uh, three others. Oh, God. Total Another five. Group of five, great. Well, I could do that, but it's 50 gold. Or 50 gold approximate in other forms, like gems. I'll take gems. I love gems. You like gems? I love gems, yeah. Who doesn't love gems? Another, another delightful young lad. Yeah, what's the age of this? Easily like 50. 50? He's, five a, half, he's a bearded half. A yeah. delightful young lad. I said exactly what I was um, hmm. Should I buy a ticket for me? I don't need a ticket. Why don't you, need you don't have to, you know, I'm not going to pressure you to make it. I'm not going to make a hard sale, you know, but you get on the train, you pay 50 gold. That's just the system. If you were if you were going from here up to to Red Mount, you know that's going to be a much cheaper ticket. But when you have all the resources for a really short ride, they like to pay more. I'm not saying that's good economy, but it's just what it's what they do. Buy a ticket to Red Mount. We'll just get off. I was gonna say, can't <laughs> fucking get off. Uh, I have no I ha- I have no gold because I used all my gold to write spells. It's so. like when you transfer trains and you only buy tickets for like the second leg of the train. What is Which your name? We've never done before. Never done that before. Talon. Talon. It is quite possible that you have aided a group of cutthroats in pretending to be Copper Legion. I don't think so. (laughs) Talon. Okay. I'm, I'm telling you this. But... I don't know. Where are you? Where, what branch are you from? The, the fucking branch that's down the train. I forgot the name of the town. Okay. Valeria. So Valeria. 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 Can you tell me who's in the who's in the branch in Calanthus or Destera or or the one further north than that? I don't know. I know for a fact that they don't make coins. I would agree with my friend. The way that you become and is that show. True? No, that's is, that's, that's, is that far, true? As far as we believe. As can, far as they don't make, make coins in Faleria. But we don't, we, we, we. It could be made into anything. But we don't, do we know that? Yes. Damien said that it could be made into anything. It's like an. Damien makes them into anything. That's true, so uh, it could be made into a coin. We don't know. You only know what you know. I, I just. They're buy- not, the people that we're after, which these are the definitely the people that we're fucking after, are not Copper Legion. We Maybe. also, but we also know there are people in the Copper Legion who are aiding them. Yeah. And we also know that there's, there's potential that there's people in the Copper Legion who are also trying, who might also try be trying to do what we're trying to do. So it could be other people in could the Copper Legion. Could be a Legion. bad member of the Copper Legion. Uh, sure. Can you, are you trying to? It's all bad. I'm gonna have you roll me okay. an intimidation check. Thank you. I think that's wise. With he advantage because goals. I'm. So, so, so I'll give you advantage on it. Wow, that, that works fucking worked. Holy Bubbles shit. Bubbles is intimidating. Advantage because I'm pissed? <laughs> no, advantage oh, because the, you, the dude's I like out by a you've spoken spoken. small penguin. I love this tag team, the like giant. Yeah, the, the blue giant and the magic penguin. <laughs> the magic penguin. It's a great Mertel opera. All right, that's a... Uh, my face has gone everywhere, and I look see up. It. It's a lot. Sort of leans in. I, I don't. I can't get in trouble. Okay. Why would you be in trouble? Well, because a, if I, if you pay nothing, if I just let you on because I feel frightened of having a loud cut. Cutthroats on the train, then it's not gonna go well. But I can't. Okay, you said five of you? Yes. Yes. I, I'm gonna give you five tickets that are still attached together, so it looks like one oversized, overprinted ticket, and you will pay me ten gold a person for a total of. 50 gold for the whole lot. Can we do that? 35. JB, I think it's... I, 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 if, if the numbers don't match, I can I can make it work so it looks like I fucked up and made one big ticket for 50 gold. Uh, 35 I, not, is I, I, almost, I only I have 35 gold. Um, 50 gold like in the grip inventory. I almost call myself Leonidas. Like, it's just um, like uh, random bubbles, to the imaginary. Bubbles, <laughs> bubbles kind of <laughs> slaps your leg and goes, JB, I think that's a good deal. Though, I, I'm... Wait, Do can we, above money? the table, no, I Baldur's don't have Gate 3 does, does a thing 
called Magic Pockets. Yeah. Where like the group if, if like yeah. if Shadow oh. Heart has all six hundred gold pieces and yeah, you yeah, baby yeah. Tav want to buy the thing at the shop, you can magic pockets the gold. That's... I'm comfy with that. Like, I think oh. that's fine. I at think group I... inventory is a group inventory. I, yeah. I don't have any. Do you? Fine. We have a couple hundred gold. Right? I thought we don't have anything because I used all of it to write down we the spells. We have forty yeah. gold. <sighs> I've been keeping. We have forty gold. <laughs> well. well okay. Like and. Um, and then Snow has 11 gold, so I, you could use all but one gold piece of hers. She does not give a fuck. From the party, I will take 15, and I will use the 35 that I have. Great. Let's be with 15. Now we can do this. Well, that does equal 15. <laughs> He sort of cranks this like little ticket wheel, and instead of putting the, the sort of punch knife down while he's doing it, he cranks it out. So five tickets have cranked out, and then look. So like yelling down the ramp towards the one ticket sold. He hands this like row of five tickets to together to you. That's just one ticket for you, good customer of the rail. I will see you before midnight tonight. Alan. Yeah. Thank you. Don't eat me. I am sorry. Why would we eat you? Because you're a penguin and you're blue. I don't know what you guys do. You are really fucking racist. That's I true. just we're going to allow this. I'm just a penguin. I am sorry. Don't eat people. That I eat fish. This went down <laughs> the way it went down. <laughs> but the deal was <laughs> the deal was uh, was palpable. <laughs> The out of the deal. We will, we will see you <laughs> later. The out of the deal. The out of the deal. And of course, this is official Copper Legion business. Yeah. We are not sure anybody it, who could be involved in this. I am putting trust in you that you might not be involved in what they are doing. Uh, believe me, I'm not paid enough. This stays between us, then. I ha if, if this leaves my mouth, I'm dead. If anybody else knows about this, no, that's not the the way I wanted to phrase that, is it? If, Look, if I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell anyone. We will don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. And if you die, we'll, I'm not gonna. No, you're not gonna die. I was trying to make a turn of phrase about like. Well, it if, seems like if it's so not and so worked. has no fans, then I'm dead. But it didn't. I didn't f structure it. I sometimes way, so. speak. I don't know what I'm saying either. If anybody else knows about this, then I'm dead. No, but that still doesn't. That still doesn't work. You guys. <laughs> Leave the transition. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to commend the <laughs> voice of Talon, though, for yeah. being like every man that's ever been on Love Island you guys in leave. one man. I, that's <laughs> great. So he was just Essex. <laughs> yeah. That's great. He opens his door, <laughs> takes that bottle of whiskey. Is this Scooby Doo reading a map? Of I'm sorry, um, that's what it's <laughs> Thank God. My prison folks to the old jail. Oh, great. You make your way as the, the party is split. Mm. It's a pretty, fairly short walk from the edge of the bridge over to where the jail is. And again, you see the three solar born um, and this 15 foot tall construct with oddly moving green flame crackling out of this lantern like chest. This huge sword planted in the stone. Once you're within 30 feet of the jail, Sinov, your book starts burning at your hip. It's like roasting hot metal. It's just searing into your thigh. Do you touch it? Yeah. It doesn't necessarily t burn the fingertips, but there's like a, a pins and needles sensation that shoots up and you hear screaming in your head, get away from that! Jesus. Get away! Okay, Jesus. Okay. <laughs> you just take a deep breath, I just gotta go look. Your, your vision is almost blurring. It's it's like a the, the migraine from hell is pierced through the back. No, 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 not back, not back in the cage, not back in the cage, not back in the cage. Um, Alice, I don't know if I can go in there. Um, Are you okay? Snow? Yeah, no, I'm fine. It's st st Stella doesn't want to go in there. And, uh, Stella, I won't let you get in the cage. Stay away from it. Don't look at it. I don't want it. I don't want it. What is you it? just, you. Can we sit down? Yeah. You stay with her. Okay. Don't. Just don't. Okay. Stop. Just literally, <laughs> just like, just fucking stop. stop. You're an amazing mother. <laughs> yeah, evidently. Just, just <laughs> stop. Mother of none. 
I'm right. not gonna touch you, but I'm gonna try and guide you uh, to a bench. Okay. Okay. Ow. The uh, as this has been happening with you, the the source of this dissonance, the the torchbearer, it's again lantern-like head is just inclined towards you. Right, it's okay. not making any threatening moves. It's not doing anything, but it just and you can see that as much as that it just like is aware of Sinov. Okay. I'm but as, as once you are out of sight of the torchbearer and on a bench with mm-hmm. Lenore, the migraine subsides to just a dull throb. And the book cools down. Little bluebird? Yeah. You with me? Yeah. Yeah. My god didn't want to go over there. Didn't like it. Ow. Did she hurt you? Um, it was just more like she told me no really strong. <laughs> okay. That's all. Why? Do you... Uh, she said You're no. not here. Yeah, he is. Yes, she is. Sorry. Oh, you came with us to the bench? Well, I'm, I'm gonna go. She just okay. said not back in the cage. <laughs> That's all she kept saying. Fascinating. Not back I'm in the cage. Dick. Not back just... in the cage. No, don't go. Don't look at it. Do you wanna set the book down? No. Okay. You're not in pain now. No. Well, I mean, like, I, my a head hurts, but it's not bad anymore. I felt like my head was going to explode for a second. Don't look so excited about that. And that doesn't seem like a good thing. Do you want to go to the jail? Why are you going to the jail? I have, come on, a curate? Is that what you said? Uh, Inquisitor Gaius. Completely wrong! Good! How do you spell Gaius? G-A-I-U-S. Gaius. Is it important? Imp- G- is it Gaius. <laughs> Gaius. Um, is it important yes. that you go? I think so. Do you feel okay going alone? Uh, I don't think I have an option here. Either you two could go together. I don't think that's wise. You see a solar born clanking from around the train station across oh. town towards the. I will go. Just. Stay around, and if and you'll know where I am. Yeah, you meet back here. Oh my God. And you can always tell me if you're in trouble. Not and I if wink I... at her. There's a 60 foot distance, and you have to be in line of sight. Oh. But you'll know where I am in 314 feet. You don't have to be in line of sight, just 60 foot distance. It's just distance? Is this within 60 feet? Once I'm inside? Uh, really? once you, well, you can't be within 30 feet of the jail, or the front of the jail, okay. the door of the jail. Okay. Where I could the go around back. Is. You could go around back. Well, see, I'll, I'll stay in. I'll stay in communication uh, as I then can. You're sneaking around back of the jail. You're in communication. With <laughs> so Thomas? I'll just, I'll yeah. just keep on going. All right, I'm turning the corner. I'm <laughs> going here. I'm turning not the corner. live player. Yeah, I'm <laughs> visiting the jail. Well, I okay. turned the corner. Uh, <laughs> the as you're getting there, the the solarborn mm. is has posted up oh. towards the jail and uh, sort of goes cut in front of you, because oh. you are, of course, an elf, and is speaking to the, the torchbearer. Solarborn, here to see Inquisitor Gaius. Elf here to see Inquisitor Gaius as well. But Stand down. That's You'll wait your turn. I thought it was a group thing. My apologies. The torchbearer just stands aside mm. and the Solarborn sort of leans into the doorway of the jail. Solarborn and an elf <laughs> requesting to speak with Inquisitor Gaius. It's not super racist, that's a win. The Solarborn stands back, just at the door frame, watches you. The torchbearer watches you. And slowly, this man in a long uh, black leather coat high collar gilded with silver, sort of pinned, doubled over, uh, double-breasted vest, lots of sort of chains and medals and accoutrement all over it. Um, this very thin rapier at the hilt, Sick. Um, slick-backed white blonde hair. 
Solarborn. What seems to be the problem? There are troublemakers at the train station. <laughs> Trying to cause and incite havoc. They are not of vanguard persuasion. Were they causing you actual distress, Alexander? Oh, it's a 19 year old kid. Holy Alexander! Shit. You have never uh, been satisfied! They were. They were exploiting my position and ridiculing my station. Trainee. He leans in, these like ice gray eyes. They flash briefly gold. Were they causing you actual distress, Alexander? No, Inquisitor. That's what I thought. Solomon Alexander clanks away. Mind your station, Elf. Clank, clank, oh, Jesus. clank, clank. You should have gone. Hand resting on the radio. Okay, do I recognize this person? Yeah, no. so. My hand. I do not recognize you, Denizen of the Wood. I am new here. New now. Or new in permanence? Both, in a sense, I suppose. What business do you have with me, Elf? I was told to inquire after you by a solar born on the bridge regarding the incident within the wood. Within I... the wood? Ah, yes. You don't... What do you know about it? Only what he said. A generation... You're highborn. And away from home. Hence my concern. Eyes flash again, and you can feel uh, you can feel magic attempt to take hold. Are you going to let it? Wisdom saving throw. Ciao. That's not good. Eleven. <laughs> so <laughs> I love the thinker comes back. Don't he never me. leaves. Uh, <laughs> Eleven. Uh, Flash of genius. <laughs> <laughs> oh! You are now under the effects of Zone of Truth. Sick. Oh, man, why aren't we all sick? Oh my god. Before this conversation takes place, I need to briefly jump back to the bench. Sick. Oh no. As you guys are sitting there, Sonov, at first you think it's just a come down from the, the shocking arcane migraine, but you notice that Lenore is has lost color. And I don't mean like looks ill, I mean is now in grayscale. Oh. Lenore, oh. are you feeling okay? No, 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 no. Um, oh, oh, I thought I had more time. Um, are you dying? What's no, happening? No, no, no. I'm gonna leave. But I'm not, I'm not. Pieces of Lenore are starting to flake off like little Voldemort. I'm ash. not leaving what? you. I'm not leaving you. I am going I don't feel so good elsewhere, and I will be back. The space underneath the flaked off pieces of skin almost looks like this purple, hazy, gray, arcane storm. What did you do? What happened to you? I, um, I can explain. I don't have time to explain. Um, I will explain when I'm back. It'll be very short for you. It'll be very long for me. But I will be back, and we will talk like we said we would. And please just remember that in the past when I left, I was gone, but I didn't leave you. Do you the understand the difference? The tattoo glows bright purple. I was pushed away, I was taken away, but I did not choose to leave you. Do you understand? Yeah. Thank you. As pieces flake off of Lenore, the tattoo glows bright, almost beautiful purple, and the ash that's fading away stops and reverses, almost being vacuum sucked into the tattoo as Lenore herself buckles and folds into the glowing tattoo until all that is left in Lenore's place are three bands of light that... And Lenore is gone. I leave for five fucking seconds. <laughs> That's Jumanji meets Infinity War. Starring Rob Williams. Wow. I just want to cry. See you guys later. See you later, Steve. 
Asta. I'm still kicking. I'm still alive. See you next week, guys. I mean, we'll see if uh, Will releases oh. me. Oh. Oh. Wait. 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 Okay. Just so we know that I'm, I'm not like saying, get out of my yeah, table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not because of earlier when no, we, no, we no, had no. an yeah. argument. Um, <laughs> I, above table, Lenore has spent some, a significant Oh, no, no, no. no, no, no. no, no. Rachel. Rachel. Why you know? The Rachel. Oh, the Rachel. So, me, Rachel? You, Rachel. Oh, not above you, table, like directly you're, above you're table. Busy Real lawyer. world person. Like, I'm Dan. That's, that's, that's why. I was like, oh that's, shit! No, 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 no. no, no, no. no God, what is no, no, your that's, reason that's currently good. for having to leave the stream? That one over oh, your husband. Um, that's Kyle. Well, I started at work this week, um, and I'm working at a law office. Let me play the Bob's music and not the scary music. And I I, need to go to sleep. I can't play. <laughs> yes, fair. Very early. Yes, fair. I'm not gonna play this session too much later, but it's essentially it's a professional curfew. It's a professional curfew. It is anonymy, um, self-imposed yeah. time restraint. Nice. Thank like, yeah. you. Know? No okay. overtime. We're not. We're not. We're not. We're not paying a lawyer overtime. Uh, I was so excited to explain how it works. <laughs> I mean, no. if you want to, but I feel like we can get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Later. No, yeah. I want you to like yeah. show it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I was just like, oh my gosh, Will's letting me explain. Yeah. 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 Big, big, <laughs> Absolutely not. Big congrats to Rachel because she's incredible. Big lawyer face. No, you leave, you leave. Kyle can clean up the cups. That's fair. Are you free next week? Because I mean, like, we like to play D&D every week, so. I'm free. Great, oh. okay. Then we'll see. I'll see you guys next week. See you later, Sweet dreams. Now, back to the reality. Your oh, sister just <sighs> collapsed in on themselves and disappeared. With a rushed explanation as she faded and then was absorbed into her own tattoo. Sano does what happened last time her sister fucking left. Oh, no. She opens up the book no, no. and starts talking to Stella. Oh, no. oh, it's it's all based on trauma. Uh, <laughs> as you journal, or before you start journaling, you, when you open it, you've got a page of no, 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 no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Don't put me back. Don't put me back. Don't put me back. It hurts. It burns. It burns. It's hot. It's hot. Don't put me back. And the second you start writing, all of that fades and you just get a little scribble in the corner of the page. Thank you. I love you. I love you too. Why don't, when, I remember that vision when you were in the cage. Is that why you're, you didn't want to go over there? That's the cage. I don't want to talk. You don't want to talk about this? No more writing. Okay, well my sister left again. And that sucks real bad. And I think she's into some pretty sketchy shit. Love you too. And I draw a little heart. Excellent. My name so in the middle. <laughs> around the heart in her classic old school gold ink. <laughs> I won't leave you. It's, it's, it's so manipulative. I, I can't. Know, so, I, I, can't. <laughs> I know, Stella. That's you. <laughs> Shit the fuck names. <laughs> They're one and the same. Uh, on the steps of the jail. On the steps of the jail. Okay. Uh, what do you expect? I, nothing more. I'm, 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 I'm locked. What is your name, Highborn? Elysia Brown. And why are you out here? It's unclear. Are you here to ascertain blame of the pod purge to anyone within the confines of the vanguard? I'm not, I don't understand. Do you know what happened in your home? No. What is your opinion of the vanguard of the mortal states? I'm distrustful. Of 
He leans back. He does not drop the zone of truth. What would you ask of me? What do you know as to the, as to the incident with the Something happened at the roots. But Many who were being bred by spirit were lost. Do you know anything as to the culprit? No. That is what we are attempting to ascertain while mitigating potential outcrying from the court of the star. Have you heard any news from the Harats? I am not familiar with that name. Could you send word there? I could. Would you let them know I came? Sorry. What would be the best message I'm or method child. to reach them? I'm a child. That I'm not certain. But if you would speak to any member of Thelenar and have communications with any of the inner circle, the Elgaris, any of them would relay the message. We are steering clear of them, Aelis, Aelis Everan. But if I am to come into contact with one such member of the Highborn Court, I will let them know that an Aelis Everan was here and looked mournful. Uh, above table, would there be a better way to reach them? I don't think that I, Not I, yeah. I, I don't know if he would know. I don't think it would And it doesn't either. seem like he would know either, no. necessarily. Um, one final question, no longer on this particular encounter. I heard tell this particular solar born showing was in response to an incident on the bridge. What happened? That currently is a little more classified as it pertains to more tactile incidents involving our troops and myself. I understand. Good. The gold shimmers away, and it's just those ice, icy gray blue. Like That'll be all, like Highball. Frank Sinatra. If you have any other business with the jail, you can, any sort of gestures to the, the torchbearer, my guard will handle it. Thank you, Mr. Fieldhouse. Likewise. He steps back into the jail. <laughs> Gigi? <laughs> as you make your way back to Sino's bench, wouldn't, as luck would have it, train station boys, the Jack Jack Water Boys, return. Do we pass uh, Alexander? He you never been bet your bu buckle you do, but he's just like mask on, head down. Jimmy, Jimmy, no, no. Just let it be. Let it lie. Lie. You gonna do anything? Nope. Fuck yeah. Oh. He just moves on. The ruffians from the train station, it seems. Hello. How's everybody feeling? Uh, where? Does he run off again? Uh. What is your sister? She kind of disappeared again. What? Just like. Like walked away? She walked away? No. What happened? I think it's whoever her boss is took her away. I don't think he's good news. Her boss? Yeah, her boss. She calls him V? For Vendetta? I've seen that play. I I'm, this is, this is likely, and I'm going to be gentle here, so no. another god. Yes, it seems like. <laughs> I like the curl that you got going well, on. Thank there. you very much. Yeah. I, I work up like that. I will go back Um, um, just a query. <laughs> um, do you think that V, it, what do you, what, what, what are you looking at me what? for? Your goggles look at you. You got them back. You can talk now. Congrats. I did. I could talk without them. So you're just being rude. Yeah. No, I was violently angry. Oh. That's fair. You need you to regulate heard, yourself. You should have heard the uh, the ejaculation of sound Come that they on, gave. Kyle! Oh, was that that screech? That was you? Yes. Ah. I, that was the ejaculation of sound. Great, great, great play. I'm 
Okay, we're going to get back to that later. Sure. I'm going to... Well, disappeared how? She turned all kind of black and white, and then pieces of her were flaking off, and then I saw kind of inside her, and it looks like inside her is not like what's inside me. It was like space. And then she got sucked into her tattoo, and then the tattoo kind of went shink conk. She got sucked and into her was tattoo. Like, gone. Based on that description and V, can I hit like a a, a, a god history check? Yeah. Storm. Same. Same. Void. You mm. specific. Both of you. Both of you only can roll me a. No 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 no. You two rolls here are happening. You oh. can roll me. A nature check 20. about storm void. Nature. A nature check. You can roll me religion. religion. What about me? Mm, you can roll me an arcana check. Cool. Penguin. I really just think <laughs> she. Penguin. <laughs> Pangolin. Pangolin. When she left my my village, Pang- she Pang- fell. Pang- they said that she fell into the wrong crowd, and she started making bad decisions, and she started hurting people. And I think that this is the person who told her to do all the things. And you said she disappeared again. Yeah, she disappeared. And she's disappeared like this before? No, not like this. She just, like, disappeared. Like, she she left and was gone for, like, I think two years. But seemingly vanished. Seemingly vanished. Uh, I mean, no. I mean, yes, but I mean, no. no, She got excommunicated. Can I do a brief check for roles here? Did you roll something? No. What you want, if you want to, There's about one the sort of like energy and essence, the sort of like oh, arcane storm okay. around uh, around Lenore, you could roll me a nature check. She already knows what it is. Bad. <laughs> You're so right! Okay, 15 for the nature. Natural fucking 20. <laughs> for a 26. For a 26? Arcana. Um, okay. Tw- 23. Wow, we're doing Damn, aces. Damn, we're doing well, great. Nature. Boom. <laughs> Near your monastery, on the tail end of the Dragonspine Mountains, there is a very well-known spot that you would often have people resting in Grisium for, unless they wouldn't come up to Orphanos, but people making the pilgrimage to the Distortion would stop down in Grisium. And the Distortion, notably, is a large zone of intense arcane energy that is, um, from the outside observer, from a distance, manifests as a great uh, arcane storm. Okay. Purple and void like, uh, it makes traversal past a certain point in the mountains physically impossible to do. That would be, I think, okay. from a physical standpoint, yep. the link to make, be made there. Dope. Arcane. What up? You're looking at, uh, for this kind of magic you're sort of like sussing about? I just asked what I could roll. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this kind of. It's something close to the mirror of the magic you're able to do. You're, you're good at sort of chronogy. What's up? This is the energy, not the way she used it, but the energy that is surrounds Lenore is something close to like a divine version of graviturgy. Whoa. It, is a, it's, it seems to be uh, conducting and orchestrating the force that pulls space together as opposed to manipulates the way space moves. Space bubbles, bubbles, goes yeah. into his things. Religion 23? 23? There's only one god in history that had... Mm, two or three that have dealt with this. Take me there. Uh, Midnight. Mm, I'm kidding, no. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Uh, there, the Void, yep. Double. Dark Drinker, is sort of where it all stems from. But I was about to say, that's... You then have... Uh, wouldn't, wouldn't make much sense. One of the Brothers Celestial, Vikestar, Dark Between Stars... And then you have uh, Unan, God of Force, would be really the three that you were looking at. And you could argue, you, a religious scholar could make the argument that uh, Uro is, is literally gravity made manifest. Mm. Gravity. Uh, no. But that's, that it's somewhere in that sort of rectangle. Now, you said she called him the V. Yeah. Bubble, bubbles, uh, bubbles uh, finishes. Um, you said uh, you said she called her V, and you said that she 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 went inside the the tattoo. Mm, yeah, 
Yeah, basically, yeah. Well, and then it, like, disappeared. I don't know. Well, from my findings. Do you need to do that? Hold on. I don't know why I did. No, that's fine. Um, uh, um, you also can't really articulate it. It's just, wow. Well, <laughs> don't don't understand oh, the of, of a penguin flipper. Um, it's like this. Oh, yeah, from, my like understanding, this. from my understanding, <laughs> the type of magic that was done was one of, do you remember remember the, the magic that I can do where I can make people, uh, I can weigh people down? Oh, yeah, you squished the archer thing. I squished the archer thing. Very beginning when we first met. Do you remember all that? Yeah. That's a type of magic called graviturgy. Okay. It's a very powerful type of magic, and it allows people to manipulate the gravity around them. I don't necessarily specialize in that type of magic. I more specialize in, but I understand that type of magic. That what, from what I've gathered, what happened there was like graviturgy, but from a force that is not arcane. It sounded to me like the uh, distortion. Yeah. The distortion. That's an interesting way of putting it. The, 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 the like, Fascinating. You, you said it was kind of like stormy and kind of purple. But it, by, uh, by where I'm from, there is a large area of magical stormy oh, shit. Oh, You're yeah. that far up north. Yes. Uh, Very you. geographist of you. Yeah, yeah really. It's cold, that's all. What's wrong with I it don't, being cold? I don't really get cold. Well, that's lucky you. Anyway. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. What were you going to say about the... It just religiously speaking, for those of you who, you know, believe history, um, <laughs> there are <laughs> few that would match that description. Technically, the void could count, but I, rather than not, theologian, I can't, that's not my area of expertise, but I would be more inclined to believe it. That has more in common with being known as Vikestar. It's the dark between stars. Okay. Just something to keep in mind. And something to possibly interrogate your sister upon, upon her return. That's strange that both of you have uh, gods as your uh, bosses. <sighs> Especially since the gods have not been heard from in so long. Mm, one moment. I'm sorry to know. Did that was that a begrudging yes I heard on your No. Okay. That was they're not gods, they're pretenders. Maybe they were really powerful people, but they're not gods and they left. Okay. They abandoned us. But they're back now, correct? You think Stella's a pretender? Allegedly. What so is no, is Stella is different. <laughs> Allegedly. How, 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 how is Stella different? Because she is, she's different. Because she revealed herself to you and explained her motives, like, I don't know. This no, because she done. is God, like capital G, God. I'm sure someone else would believe differently. I'm sure your lovely little project who you let wander into the desert. Thinks you're God. Thinks you're God. Or thinks no. someone else is God. Or would do something different. I do think. What are you trying to do here? I'm just. I, no, I'm just saying that there is a potentiality that your sister perhaps not shares that same zeal, but has been faced with a similar choice. I was only trying to point out that, yeah, it is it is like a, a coincidence that you share so, so much. It is, but I'm saying she got excommunicated. She got into some scary shit before she was kicked out. That's why she was kicked out. And then why were these folks hunting you? What scary shit? They didn't kick me out. Mm -hmm. They didn't want to kick me out. But? I didn't get kicked out. I left. Why'd you leave? Because they don't always love people who can do ma magic. Okay. And I could. Before Stella? I don't know. No? I don't think so. Did it, I mean, what, I've known Stella for so long. So I, do you remember a time when you didn't know Stella? Yeah. And you could do magic then? No, but I never tried. I want to I hit, hit the fattest insight of my life yes, on that one. Same. I believe her. If you want to hit an insight, go for it. 
I will also ask you while we're in this pause, is there anything else that you guys want to do in the town other than just like sit, maybe like chill in the inn for a little bit? Literally no. Great. Vance. Oh, let you go first. Natural twins. I rolled a, 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 I rolled a 17. Mm-hmm. Speak your truth. That's the truth. Yeah. That's the truth. <laughs> yeah. 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 It sounded true. Yeah. Yeah. It sounded true. I was just, just double checking. Sure. Um, you know, you know, it seems, and correct me if I'm wrong, that the power at which, hmm, let me retract. Do you think that the relationship that you have with Stella, which is the one that you have, is similar to what Lenore has with V? No. Why? Because I love Stella, and Stella loves me. Loving And we are both working toward our mutual benefit. Whereas, it doesn't seem like, Le- I haven't talked to Lenore much about this, but it doesn't seem like she's thrilled. Can, can we go back so that we're, act- so that we're, uh, we, I want to understand. What was it that Lenore did to be excommunicated? They said she was unfaithful. Unfaithful? Yeah, like to whom? To, 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 to God. Stella. To Stella? Your to pe- God. So your people follow Stella. Stella. Yes, but Stella's only revealed herself to me as Stella. Where I'm from, the prophet is the one who talks to God. And the prophet is the only person who interprets the signs of God. And I, God spoke to me. And I, maybe one day will be a prophet, maybe more. I don't know. Okay. The book vibrates. So what, what is it? That I, all of you see it vibrate. I go back to what is it that your sister did? She was unfaithful. How so? Well, they didn't tell us, but then they said that she was trying to bring about the end of God and the end of everything we knew. And she was undermining not only the prophet, but everybody who had worked so hard to make sure our village and our community was safe and protected. And that people were going to get hurt if they didn't do what they were going to do, which was excommunicate her. Would would they not now say that that is what you are doing? No. How? Then who was hunting you? (sighs) I also think you got a message. You say that only the prophet can, in, in your community, the only the prophet can speak to God, but you heard from God, so clearly you you have been shown that what the prophets and the people had been telling you was false in some way. Or they were speaking to someone else. I think the prophet is false. I think I'm supposed to be the prophet. And that they disagree. I think the prophet saw what I was and maybe God stopped talking to her. And so, and also someone saw me do magic. And so I think someone turned me in. And so they saw a good way to fix it. So they could hold on to power. Let me ask, has, um, has, Stella ever taken the magic that you can do for, and 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 taken it away? No. She's never been angry at you? No. Who are you looking at? No, I'm <laughs> Who's that over there? <laughs> um, As, are you gonna open it? Yeah. 
Uh, can we see? Well, I was about yeah, to say, yeah. for the first time, even if you are not looking directly at the pages, all of you just see and or know what is written on these pages. We want to heal everything. I thought you were going to say poop, poop, beep, beep. No. <laughs> this is the truth, and so am I. We want to heal everything. This is the truth. This is the truth. Miss uh, Stella, if I if I can speak to you, because you spoke to us now, um, were you at some point speaking with Prophet, and now are speaking with our friend? No answer. Am I speaking to a, an inert book? Can you hear You're them, speaking? Stella? You hear? No. She can't hear you. Were you ever in contact with the prophet? I'm gonna, I'm just gonna. I don't, I don't think it's a volume issue. I, I also think there are numerous solar born around, so maybe don't scream into a book. Oh, I, I'm prophet? sorry. <laughs> Should we not provoke the solar born now? Somewhere across the town, guarding a train station, somebody shivers. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of a train station, I'm gonna say time passes. We can continue uh, the this. sun yeah, crests okay. across the sky. A conversation definitely continues. Perhaps you go, you visit the, uh, where am I? Where are my fucking notes here? Uh, you visit the lost caravan, the Ban Aravel, the one bar in the town. Maybe you get a drink, maybe you get a bite to eat. Definitely to ask about the bridge. We'll get there. By the time the dusk is beginning to fall, you and a few other stragglers make your way across the town towards the train station and Deer Talon. You've each now surreptitiously tore the big ticket apart into five separate tickets. We got one that ticket. somebody has pocketed for somebody else. Hmm. You get them stamped. You make your way onto the back half of the 12 car train, the standard carriage part of the train. Change my music here. And as you make your way on, the sun dips below the horizon and you find a seat in the, the sixth carriage from the back of the train. And as the doors close and all the other travelers have made their way onto the train, from outside you hear... The sun sets at midnight? No, it's, um, we're, we're doing time to wipe. Okay, I'm sorry. But the wheels begin <laughs> to churn, so the lightning <laughs> crackles across the tracks, and the train begins its journey to Valyria. We will pick up on the train with maybe some like, what did we do in the past hours? Uh, next week? No, oh, this music though. I'm. We're coming back with this music. This is the playlist. Don't worry. This is. Lovely. This is. It's gonna oh, be good. Fuck. I think it's next Wednesday already, guys. I know. You guys, it's so we. Oh yeah. It's all Wednesdays. <laughs> Oops, all Wednesdays. Uh, thank you guys. Uh, this was a great session. I had a fabulous time. Thank you all for coming to stay for our new uh, new weekly session. Uh, let me know if whatever your tinfoil hat theories are in our Discord. Join the Discord mm -hmm. if you haven't joined it yet. Um, and we'll go raid somebody. We'll pillage the village. Yeah, we'll definitely raid. Um, join us next week for the giveaway. Giveaway. Yeah. Giveaway. Yeah. giveaway. Great. Yeah. Checking merch because I'm gonna I'm gonna just keep making more. Let's make a let's make a. I wanted to make yeah. The sticker sticker. Let's I do just, it. I want someone, someone should. I want big time. Someone in the chat said you should make a merch that said uh, small friend big friend or something like that. Oh. oh like, wait, like a little little shirt. Small friend big friend. Small friend, big friend, or something like that. Um, so sweet. Great. And I love you guys. Last thing I want, just want to say. Please. Uh, if you are in the United States and you haven't registered to vote and you're of legal voting do age. Do it. Please do. And please. if you want to join the Discord and you need help, I'm happy to help. Yep. Great. And if you need more information about voting, uh, I'll probably just tell you to Google it. There's a great, but you can Google it. Uh, 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 I'll put something in there. There's a yep. couple websites that can tell you if you're registered, all this different stuff. Yeah. So. Yeah. Only less than 50% of the the voting possible population of the U.S. doesn't vote. It's cr crazy. Or, or like, yeah, yeah. does vote. I, yes, I please please vote. vote. Half of our country that can vote doesn't, doesn't vote. You, everyone needs to vote yeah. or we're not actually being represented. True. 
And then what was the point of leaving the monarchy? Yeah. What was the point? <laughs> what was the point? Says, what was the point? Says, but come, uh, come join us on Discord, and we'll see yeah, you next week. Love your monarchy. Bye. 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 See you. Where the fuck are we going? Goodbye.